Hello everyone! I'm Hugo. Why do you do that? Do what? Say the thing we say at the beginning of every single thing we've ever done since episode one, like seven or eight years ago? Seven years ago, probably, at this point. They don't want that canned bullshit. They want real life. There is no real me. There's. This is 100% not true. Trust me, this is as authentic as I can get. This, anyway. This is... Now it is. Yeah. Today we're going to open some packages. Hi, everyone. How were your holidays? Hopefully good. Uh, is that LaCroix? It's a... Uh, I don't know what... it. This says... I don't know if it's curate or curate or whatever, but um, I'm going through. I'm gonna. I'm trying all sorts of shit. Uh, I don't like normal Lacroix, like in the cans that you see hipsters. But this more hipstery one is actually pretty good. It's appley. It's not nearly sweet enough for you though. No. I was gonna offer it to you, and then I figured. I. I like where you're at right now. If I'm not going to ruin the mood. If there isn't a severe risk of type 2 diabetes, it's basically water to me and therefore <laughs> useless. I mean, it is water. It's just a little thing. So yeah, That sounds awful. Paul, Scott and I are on the way to the symphony. Well, fuck, fuck you then. That's a classy fucking... You, uh, oh, man. Yeah. If you, well, no, Batman, that was a different thing. I was going to say, Batman. You had, a, you had a kid with you, you should go out into an alley. Maybe you, you'll get killed and he'll become a superhero. Oh. I know you, you don't have kids, but... Uh, Maybe get some. They might be Batman. <laughs> Mike McAtheist with five dollars. Uh, how do you guys feel about Matt Dillahuntany? Dillahuntany? Ha Matt Dillahunty mentioning your JP videos. I was like, shout out. I hate it. Keep <laughs> keep my name out your mouth, Matt. Uh, no, it's, no great. it's it's great. Of course it is. Yeah. Uh, he called me on the phone. Not to name drop. He called me on the phone a while ago. I think I told you about this. Um, we ended up talking about not Jordan Peterson for a very long time. But that's, the reason he called was Jordan Peterson. That's my favorite thing to talk about is not Jordan Peterson. I agree. It's one of my favorites as well is not Jordan Peterson. But no, he called uh, to discuss that. And he's he's very... This is like the third, second or third time he's mentioned the series. So uh, I, I guess it's striking a chord with fellow people. Did you know that no one else is reading the book chapter by chapter and doing this? No, I, I, uh, that makes sense. Most people are just giving broad overviews. Like uh, ContraPoints does a really good job. Peter oh, yeah. Coffin does a really good job on their um, Peterson videos giving broad overviews. I'm actually surprised no one picked up this book, and then I read it, and then I'm not as surprised. No, they definitely read it. I know. Well, no, 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 no. I, I mean, know like ContraPoints did. No, for they sure. both read they the book. They just do I'm just very saying, intensive overviews. Like I've seen, I've seen Peter's copy of it on a bed once. So. They're they're really good. <laughs> that sounds like I was in a room with Peter Coffin. <laughs> How was it? He does live in Michigan, though. I would say ContraPoints is a really good like ESPN 30 for 30. That's where, what I'm saying. Where we're replay. We're like circling the shit. Like, as it's we're, happening. We're, we're the live newscast, really. But, yeah. like, uh, yeah. Anyway, Paul, open the tiny box for me. Uh, I was going to open this letter first, Paul. Um, He's going to the symphony, goddammit! The symphony? S -sym the symphony. Are you talking about the uh, super heavy one that we referenced on the... Uh, on the Salty Review? TJ Kirk was doing a reading, but stopped? Yeah. Huh. Um, I don't blame him. I, I do not blame him. I can't I can't possibly open this. Do you have keys? I do have keys. Or like keys. a like a knife. That's how I got here. You, with your keys. Well, like a little witch broom, but a, but keys. Yes. Uh, how about this? Hey, hey Sarah. We why do you always sound so upset? We keep her in the living room. Uh, will you give me a knife? In fairness, that's my internal feeling anytime I have to interact with you either. Ah! ah, ah more ah. interaction. This is a nice heavy one. I'm gonna get my, uh... All right, that's my workout. All done with that. Ugh. That adds up. Yeah. You're reading something no one should read. You mean your job? Fair, John. John Hightower, I didn't need, I didn't need that fucking reality check from you. We're trying to have a happy time. We're trying to enjoy ourselves, open nifty gifties, and you just hit us with the most real thing. Ugh. Don't look at fucking Elon Musk things. Okay. No! Okay. <laughs> but. No. No. The answer is no. This is a razor blade. Maybe. No, okay, go ahead. I have a razor blade. It's fine. <laughs> I have an out now. I'll no, save right. I'll save it for taking Thank out the you. trash. You'll save it for taking out the trash this Wednesday. Yeah. At 8.30. I'll talk about Elon Musk. And what a trash person he is. Uh, I shouldn't say. I don't know him personally. He's a terrible CEO. He's a terrible head of a company and should not be allowed to be in charge of anything. 
he's insane. That's the last thing I'll say about Elon Musk during this stream, unless if, I am prompted if to. If Michael Jordan was the head of Tesla, you guys would have gotten two Space Jam reviews. <laughs> you were right. It's pennies. Wait, did I guess it was pennies? Yeah, you guessed it was pennies. Just full of pennies? Just okay. full of them. We gotta empty it, though, because it says something no, I, in the box. I, 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 no. Can you, oh, you can pull it out. Okay. <laughs> Penny for your thoughts. P.S. When you take the coin... When you take to Coinstar, get an Amazon gift card. You will not be charged a service fee. Very bold of you to assume Jake's gonna take these to the bank and use Coinstar and not throw them in the trash. I mean, it's illegal. I've used Coinstar before. I have too, but it's like it's pennies. How much money's in this? A dollar, probably. No, no there's, more. there's you. You guessed ten dollars. That was your guess. Uh, Paul, Seven. Paul, uh, there is more in the middle. Okay, Paul, twenty dollars and twenty-one cents. Is is that the amount of pennies that are in here? Canadian unicorn with two Canadian dollar dues. Please start ranting, Hugo. It makes my day. Yeah, maybe Don't... later, and it won't be about Musk because I gotta save it. I'm gonna guess seven dollars okay. and thirty-six cents. You have a you have a bag a box right here. I'm just I was gonna say my Rain Man right. autism doesn't kick okay, in until gonna... things are on the floor and then I can count them immediately. Well, I'm gonna pour this in. Let's pour this into a giant box. This well, is... not a giant box. This is a normal size box. All you ASMR people, get ready for some noises. Are, are you ready for this shit? Oh yeah, pennies in a box ASMR. I'm uploading this separately. Like God a, damn it, more keychains. It Paul, smells like a stroke. Paul, from now on. San Diego and a uh, $100 bill. I would have rather opened this. And, 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 and like, I would have ra rather opened $100 bill and a keychain of, of $10 worth of pennies than $10 worth of pennies and a keychain of a $100 bill. In case you were looking for, for gift ideas next time, Mike McAtheist, he'll go time! Are you going to do it? Paul. <laughs> Next time you find yourself in any sort of store with a menagerie of various things to hook upon your keys so that you may more enjoyably <laughs> open your domicile and start your vehicles, please consider you have too many goddamn keychains. What if he has an, that many keys, though? I th well, if, he has a keychain for each key. You don't need a key. You need a keychain for, like, every ten keys at best. That's my call. That's my call. Official Hugo call. You can have one keychain for every ten what keys. What if they'll have fobs? That's too many keys. Why do you have that many key fobs? Take it off and put it on a chain. What with... if he has ten cars? He's clearly wealthy. He just sent us ten dollars in pennies. <laughs> okay. If you have a car key can be on its own ring with its own thing. Sex abacus with two dollars. About time we got paid from that project. Uh, I think my ears just came. Okay. That's, 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 nope. If semen just came out of your ears, now you I'm have, thinking earwax. You have a medical condition. Okay, so we have a we have a letter from a person who uh, printed out the address and taped it and to the taped envelope. it to the envelope, and then when they did that, they flipped the envelope over, and and so so this is all upside down and wrong. Is this when the anthrax comes? Is this Carl? <laughs> is Carl mad at me? Well, I think Carl's mad at everyone for lots of reasons. Oh. I don't think it's your fault. Okay, this is... Oh. This is from... I know who this is. This is a YouTube channel. Called Viced Rhino. Here you go. It's for you. Because it, uh... This isn't to me. But I'll read it to you as representative... Okay. ...of successful business Hugo and Jake. Dear Hugo... Please accept this offer of employment to the Vice Rhino YouTube channel. We are looking for a video editor and feel you have successfully demonstrated these skills on the Hugo and Jake YouTube channel. Your starting pay will be one jar of peanut butter per week with a Christmas bonus consisting of one complimentary montage. Should your performance exceed expectations, you may also be entitled to summer montage, but as we recognize the highly addictive nature of montages, two per year will be the cap. Looking forward to working with you. Viced Rhino. Signed, Viced Rhino. I do like things in sequential order set to music. So. There you go. There's your official. Keep that. That's official. I'll take this under advisement. Yeah. I'll talk to my financial advisor and see what the conversion rate of peanut butter to we Hot wanna, Pockets do is. Do we want to put the, uh, why don't we, um, on, uh, how about on the, uh, on the Rich Evans? 
We we slapped the uh, nope. I was gonna say the sticker that you got was probably obvious. Like of of the two things I handed you, you thought the thing that doesn't stick to stuff was the thing we were gonna stick to the stuff. But it's a beautiful picture <laughs> of Rich Evans. God. Uh, Leaf Song Mag Bag with $5. I just bought around $400 worth of manga. How was your day? I want to lick Hugo's receding hairline. No, I'm the one with the receding... Wait, do you have a receding hairline? Probably. Uh, I think yours is deeper than mine. I don't know. Paul A., I watch Vice Rhino. That's... Thank you for the money. I follow him on Twitter. Where Are you going to put it up? Where, where am I going to put it? Where you put it somewhere. Whatever I... What about on the skull? Put it on the skull vodka. <sighs> that was a very expensive bottle that yeah. Dan Aykroyd sold me. So buy another one from Dan Aykroyd at some point. They're too expensive, and I'm never how buying much, that amount of how vodka How much was again. this vodka? <laughs> Over $300? No. Under 200 Yes. 100 Close. That's not that expensive. Woo! I don't want to slap a sticker I mean, on it's, it. I mean, it's too much, but, like, it's not, like... Like gonna ruin I'll everybody. I'll slap it on the Rich well, Evans if you if you want me to. I have an idea. Okay. Put it on. Don't I have another Holy Bible somewhere? Shit. Hmm. 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 I have an idea. Put it over. No, that's artwork. Damn. Yeah, I don't want to ruin anything. Is my hmm. point in a lot of this. Put paint. it on the boy panties. Boy panties aren't yeah, art. That is, well. <laughs> okay. Debating. Depends on how. It depends on how you. uh... I think the Dada people would uh, disagree. Dada was an art movement in which the ridiculousness of the installations and the lack of artistic value was the point. Anyway, stick her on some underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's saying more peanut butter. Like, you, or you, you've you deserved more peanut butter. You know, I, uh, peanut butter, one of the most incredibly caloric, uh, like, calorically dense foods you can eat. If you're on a diet... Don't don't eat peanut butter. Bad for you. Unless it's like special peanut butter, maybe. I don't know. A special? I don't know. Like a diet peanut butter? That's not a thing. That's not a... Someone send me some diet peanut butter so I can show this no. person he's wrong. No, that's a... That's a... Like natural peanut butter without added sugar? Yeah. It's not diet. That's just shitty peanut butter. It's real sticky. Where'd it go? Right behind me. It barely moved. This is from Charles. What is your life story? This looks like a tract of some kind. Is this a chick tract? No. If it is, it's very old. It looks like a letter. Let me see I'm, sure, the... I'm sure the letter will explain. <laughs> How dare you, sir. I'm, <laughs> I'm functionally illiterate, and I find it very offensive what you had said. Dearest... <laughs> who cares, you ask? Not Hugo and Jake, because they ain't doing that anymore. <laughs> We're doing the who cares. He had, Tell him to fucking watch Doctor Who. I watched the whole season and the New Year's special. He has it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to review it. I can talk about it right now. My my quick review is, overall, uh, the visuals are stunning. I like the actors. I hope the writing is better in the next season. Me too. That's pretty much my opinion. Watch Camp Hell. It's right up your alley. Didn't we watch Camp Hell? No, we watched uh, Jesus Hell Camp. Hell House. We watched Hell House and Jesus Camp. Those are the those are combined. Yeah. Dearest Hugo and Jake, I found this what appears to be a knockoff chick tract uh, when getting my mail today. It was sitting in the mail room, and I thought of use you use. I thought of you. Is that on a Blizzard? It is. It is on Blizzard stationery. I'm assuming. Do they you work at Blizzard? I don't think they work for. If Blizzard. you work at Blizzard, I want I want free Blizzard stuff. I don't even really do any of the Blizzard things, but so it's an off-brand tract of some sort. Mm -hmm. What company is this from? Operation Somebody Cares. Is this just like, hey, don't don't off yourself. Jesus loves you. What is your life story? Let's see. This is... Uh, I think the art's better than Chick Tract art. Yeah. In fairness, it looks like an actual comic. There you go. All right, this guy dies. Uh, ooh, Burning Angel. We might have to... Yeah, we should, <laughs> we should go to this website. I like the art of these way better. Like, look at this. Is that Colossus? Look at this angel. It looks just sure like Colossus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just Colossus. Okay. <laughs> oh god, thank you. I feel like a who cares junkie getting a fix. The shaking has stopped. Hugo and Jake, what about Bandersnatch? Yeah, we watched that. I like I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was I, fun. I, not the best Black Mirror I've ever seen. No, but, but it, that's not what it was. It was more yeah. basing it on the 
premise and the it I, it'll be looked back on less of uh it was well written although it was competently written for what it was sure. uh i think it'll be looked back on as like oh yeah that was one of the first big popular netflix things that did the choose your own adventure thing and i know minecraft story mode exists but like that's a kid's thing so bandersnatch is the first one to be. yeah i'd imagine similar remember in like the 90s and early 2000s every sitcom or show had like a random musical episode yeah I think this will be a thing that Netflix shows have, like, every show at some point will have, like, a random choose your own adventure. Not about every, but yeah, I think I think it'd be but pretty like, common practice. Like, maybe a, a, a Stranger Things where they're playing D&D and you, you pick what they're they're doing. I saw someone on Reddit talking about an idea for that, and, like, maybe it... I don't know. Honestly, a, an entire series um, of Stranger Things, maybe if it's animated or something, is choose your own adventure, and it's like... It would be so much... Half hour to 45 minutes of content for, you know, and then you okay. get... You get, you get one every couple months or something. That'd be kind of fun. It's kind of like a in-between... Um, you know, maybe they can even have different characters in the same universe that are sure. dealing with similar stuff in another part of the world. And, yeah. Um, it could be interesting to kind of sate people in between Stranger Things seasons because that's such a popular show and Sub- it's so charming. I guarantee one of the next ones in the next year or two that's going to do it is probably the new Sabrina show. I don't know if you've seen it yet. It's a pretty good show. It's one of Netflix's better like original things sure. in my opinion it's entertaining it's not necessarily for my age group it's aimed a little bit younger but i enjoy it it's kind of buffy mm. the vampire slayer-esque there's like a monster of the week they gotta fight it so i'd imagine that episode will be like oh there's a monster that's fucking with probability or some shit and yeah. you're... so that's um, cool i like bandersnatch overall good soundtrack too someone said film me on camp hell uh, i haven't watched it but um Camp Hell, uh, another one that keeps coming up is one that I watched. Did you watch it? It's, um, is it called One of Us or, or, uh, it's the, it's the one, it's the, it's why I have the Hasidic Jew costume. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about, about the, the Hasidim. The, the people who, it's on Netflix, I think, right? Something or like it that. it was. Yeah, I it's really good, though. Yeah, we gotta do that We could do, point. we could do that. It's, it, it, we haven't done a serious documentary In quite review, a while, yeah. And I think those are more conversational anyway to where we could sit here and kind of, like, discuss it on a timeline rather than sit down and make a comedy of it like yeah. we did with like jesus camp or um is it for the bible tells me so yeah. or is that mm-hmm. the one with the the pastor that's the gay marriage one. yeah so stuff like that paul with five dollar dues now this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down and i'd like to take a minute just sit right there i'll tell you how i became the jeffrey e petron with five dollars <laughs> When did you first consider yourself to be on the autistic spectrum? I ask being on the higher end of the spectrum myself. Forgive me if I'm mistaken. Would I ever say that? I'm, I don't actually... I'm not diagnosed. I'm it not diagnosed either. It wouldn't shock me. I think you're closer than I but am. But I've never been... When I say that, I'm saying mostly in jest and making fun of my own, you know, idiosyncras- Indi- idiosyncrasies? Idiosyncrasies. Idiosyncrasies. Um, I think... Yeah, between the two of us, you're more likely. Yeah. Because I don't have like, because it's it's very it's very common, and this is not a catch all, but like you have symptoms of, of like anxiety specifically that also like a lot of people with autism experience probably because, you know, the brain is a complicated machine, and if one part goes a little bit off, it could obviously affect more. Um, I think. Trying to think of any actual mental illness I have, probably nothing, nothing severe enough to diagnose. But I mean, I have, I have problems just like everybody else, and like you know, uh, interior monologues that aren't helpful for anybody, and like you know, stuff like that. I'm sure at some point it'll all come collapsing down. But for right now, I've, I'm, I'm it's good gonna to be, go. It's gonna be fucking beautiful because I have nothing. Yeah. I have nothing going on. Like that's really like uh, terribly debilitating. So yeah, uh, Hugo carries that burden for the for the both of us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you identify as a... T- no. I don't think either of us... Uh, no. Not I don't actually. think we qualify. Nah. Even though it's 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 a little broadly defined right now. It's very broadly defined. Um, but that's because it's a spectrum. It's a spectrum. Right. That's the point. I'm wondering if... Um, who was having this discussion? Was it Jeff Holiday on stream not too long ago was having this discussion... Where, like, maybe they should think of... Um, reclassifying it and reclassifying Having more spe- things. specificity as far as, like, oh, it's this it's this type of autism. You know what I mean? Like, because autism kind of, like... It's a pretty catch-all. For yeah. Not catch-all, and but I it think catches a lot of different behaviors. Kind of like ADHD. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're saying. You know what I mean? So be more Paul, specific. So when people say I'm not just autistic, they could say I'm blank autistic, whatever. Similar to how people are schizophrenic, but you could be paranoid schizophrenic, disorganized. Yeah, yeah. You can be high functioning. Yeah. You, can, you know. Like, because most autistic people I I know and interact with are like capable of being oh, yeah. people. Very that, high functioning. Yeah. Yeah. If you are. I didn't say I. Did I say I? I think so. I Maybe I, I just misheard you. I thought I said. Um, if they are. But, see, yeah. I have the I have the autism where I think other people around me just have it. Right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Paul, I have Tourette syndrome, obsessive compulsive disorder, and anxiety issues. Uh, the Tourette's doesn't come through, but the rest does. <laughs> I get it. Um, you've done a good job. Oh God. Don't believe William's lies. P.S. You are right. The time has come. Signed Daniel, from Cedar City, Utah. Uh, can I show that on YouTube? I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. You guys can guess. It's a very... So, I... <laughs> that's just pointing at us now. Uh, so, right. do, don't believe William's lies. I think William and Daniel have been having, like, back and forth, like, letter beef. Okay. Which is pretty weird. Actually, this one, by the way, for the record, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daniel. Uh, boy, that's a lot, isn't when it? When it's upside down, it looks it's, like it's, a stethoscope it, is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Here, what? Can I? Can I? Can I just? Can I just do this? There you go. You guys can get get a little bit of a, <laughs> little bit of a sneak peek there. Okay. Um. Yeah. So sorry, William. I actually this was like shoved under something and we forgot. So this is one of the letters that. I think was during last unboxing available, oh. but I, we just didn't read it. Okay. So, uh, or Daniel. Did I say William? Anyway, fuck William. Uh, apparently we, don't, we can't believe his lies. Okay. Uh, Noted. Noted. <laughs> Tattoo it on my body like memento. Okay. Uh, this one is from Michelle, and there seems to be like a, um, that's, like a snail? I, don't, I believe that's the flying spaghetti monster. Flying spaghetti monster. Oh, yeah, leaving. Okay, flying spaghetti monster. Uh, trail of pot Cover up sauce. their address. Uh, pasta sauce trail, which is pretty fucking cool. So, thank you, Michelle. So far, just gonna we're just gonna do the letters real quick because you guys are so nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought that was wadded up and like wet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought it was in an envelope. More gross. I'd respect it. Do you want me to read that or can you handle it as a penmanship? The penmanship's fine. Okay, I usually have a better shot at it. Dear Hugo and Jake, I read hope you two high are school kids. Yeah, hope you two are doing okay. First time writer, long time viewer. Yeah. Hi. This is a woman. You said right. Michelle. Yeah, it looks like Michelle. You can tell based. Could on the be a guy. Writing. Michelle is sometimes a, a a guy name. Sure. I ran across. You can tell based on the handwriting. Women tend to. I agree. Tend to write neater. I'd Not say so. I wonder why that is. I don't know. Do you think it's a? Uh... Do you think it's because it's like, ah, boys will be boys in school, like public schools? I think so. I think so. They're like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. Where other people are like, uh, come on, Janet, try. Yeah. Yeah. I wish someone would have told me to try. Yeah, me it too. It didn't carry over. Mike McAtheist, paper penis propaganda. Yes. I ran across your videos in high school in 2015. I'm 20 now and often pretended... You are not just online entertainers, but also my friends. See, fact, you know what? Can we stop right there real quick? Okay. We hear that a lot. Yeah. And it's not weird. Because okay. I think that's kind of the vibe we push off. Like, you're kind of just sitting across. There's another couch over there. It's a very weird living room situation. <laughs> and uh, okay. we just kind of chat. That's kind of what... When we talked about this at the beginning, right? Yeah. That's kind of what we, did, we decided to do on purpose. Yeah. So I'm glad it worked. In fact, I love your work so much that I named my first Pathfinder character Hugor after your Dark Dungeons. I like that. Bard. Yeah, that's good. The fact he was not a bard, but an arcane trickster with silver draconic bloodline did not strike me as an issue. Glad <laughs> to see somebody in the atheist community on YouTube is completely the worst now. <laughs> Who's that about? <laughs> well, there's several names you could bring up, I guess. but <laughs> It's because... It's become pretty obvious that much of the, quote, skeptic community is just looking for something to be snarky at, rather than doing anything useful or entertaining. Yeah. I would have recommended... I like this person. I would have recommended using an Oxford annotated Bible for your atheist Bible study, as it pretty much does the job for you. Reading in the margins about trying to, without having to reverse engineer Hebrew, Hebrew translations uh, and al is alternatively funny and interesting. Not as funny as your movie TV reviews, though. Speaking of your movie reviews, I got addicted 
uh, to baffling and awful fundamentalist flicks through them. So thanks. It's a great overview for their culture too. Sorry, I'm a cultural anthrop. I'm a cultural anthropology major. I'm not an English major based on <laughs> me not being able to read. Real quick, Dead Wolf it mentioned that uh, on stream the other day on Twitch is when he sent me the um, Jeff's thoughts on autism. That is true. Uh, and then Brianna, a parasocial relationship. That's true. That's that's what this is called. Like when someone thinks that like, you know, we've never met, but it feels like there's like a like a some sort of relationship connection there. Yeah. Sure. Don't worry, I won't horn in on your business. I'm still hoping to write you more, though. Time weighs heavy on my hands. Keep being <laughs> wonderful, uh, Michelle. Uh, and then, P.S., what their last name is pronounced as, but I'm not going to say that on stream as to dox them. Thank you. Nice letter. Appreciate it. Um, someone mentioned Hangouts earlier, then Chris just mentioned uh, going to be here for spring break in March. Uh, I don't know. We have talked about a thing, um, that is on the hush hush as far as a meetup, but it's, it's, it's being discussed in the TBR conference room. This room? We, we have this room? No, for that one. I think it's that one. Okay. That feels more like the conference room. There are more chairs. Downstairs is the dungeon. That makes sense. And this is also the dungeon. Okay. We have two dungeons. We should have got a kitchen. This is from <laughs> the and Mrs. Paul Allen. Uh, does Scott like that? Does Scott appreciate that you do that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Leaf song mag bag. Go ahead. Have you ever read the hilarity of Conservapedia? Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what we should do? I know we've been talking about doing regular streams on Thursdays. Yeah. A good feature for that would Conservapedia? be... Conservapedia? Let's click random on Conservapedia and read an article. Okay, we'll come up with a format for Thursday streams on this channel, and we'll do it. Uh, Leslie Clausen, uh, with $2, you talk to your audience like friends? I think so. We also give you guys shit, which is exactly how we talk to our friends, so. So that's good. Oh my god, new pictures of, of, of Paul and Scott. Is this real? Oh wow, it's Happy holidays and a joyful new year. It's not the same picture again. From Paul, Scott, Suki, Tao, and Cole Panther. It's adorable. We put that up here, next to Baphomet, <laughs> <laughs> right where the gays belong. How come that's not? Hold on, hold on. Much better. Much better. Found my first chick track at Walmart yesterday. Oof. You feel special? You should feel cursed. That's what you truly should feel like. Ooh, this one's from Cody. I feel like we've gotten something from Cody before. I'm just going to rip this off because it was already falling off. That's for you. Paul, Scott wrote that. Scott wrote Mrs. Paul. Well, that is uh, that is adorable. Uh, Mustard Bus, $10. Jake, I drunk messaged the shit out of you on Twitter during a live stream a few weeks ago. Here's some shame money. Hugo, I'm making hot dogs. What do you want on yours? Ketchup and mustard? No relish. What if, uh, I want coney sauce, onions, and mustard. Well, uh, okay, he said hot dogs. If chili dogs, no, no, or no, coney dogs. Coney dogs. Okay, hot dogs in Michigan. Coney dogs are they're already the option, right? That's obviously on the table. Chili dogs are not. I'll take a coney dog. Me too. Hugo and Jake. These particular tracks were smuggled out of a redneck town in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, in close proximity to where Reverend Billy Monday sponsors a rather interesting... Billy Google. Monday? I'll be Googling that real quick. A rather nervous cleaning lady, uh, Risht? Rushed. Is that supposed to be Risht? Uh... Looks like Risht! Risked. Ah, there we go. Cleaning lady risks purgatory and eternal damnation in hellfire and brimstone for your amusement. Billy Monday. They have been blessed by three nuns, or hookers dressed as nuns, a priest in a mental institution, and several gay rights parade volunteers. Enjoy. P.S. If the pages stick together, don't lick them. Hold That's on. a good rule in general. Don't lick paper. Billy Monday? Is that what that says for real? It says Billy Monday. Reverend Billy Monday. So Billy Monday, the first thing that comes up on Google is Billy Monday, figure nude art photographer from Frederick, Maryland. I'm going to type in Reverend, I think. <laughs> Reverend 
Reverend Billy Monday. How many churches did Christ build? Is this going to talk about how... Church uh, not Billy Sunday? Yeah, this is an anti-Catholic tract. The Christian and the dance. What? The dance? What's that about? Let me read it. The dance? The word Christian means many different things to different okay. people. The meaning of the word, quote, dance is very broad in its scope. An intelligent effort to see the relationship with the Christ with the Christian ought to understand to... De- oh, God. Ought to sustain to the dance. Therefore, will demand an understanding of these terms. They're saying that your relationship with God is akin to a dance. And then, guilt, Satan's tool of destruction. <laughs> Are those good? I don't know. We're going to have to look at them. But, uh... That one's spackled with some sort of liquid I noticed that's dried. That. If this is guilt, Satan's tool of destruction, so I assume this person figured out, oh, no guilt, okay, and they jerked off all over the pamphlet. Why is it dr- brown? Brown brown jerk juice? If you leave it to sit long enough. I don't believe it. You don't? I know for a fact. Not like that. Because of, uh, Like in a jar, yes. Because of the cum box. Or a box. You know about the cum box? I'm aware of the cum box. It was very brown. Well, that's it for this stream. Demonetize. <laughs> this is from Hugh, from from nobody, from Canada. Okay. A goose sent us. Maybe it. Maybe it's a goose. Yeah. So why would they have an address? They they. Lots of geese in Canada, They right? migrate a lot. Yeah. Marry everything. Fitz and Tyler. Guys, I found your channel just as I was deconverting. It was a tremendous help to me. Thank you and Mary, there is no Christ mass. Tyler something. Uh, and at apostate, apostate underscore bakes, possibly? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Apostate bakes? Let me see. Let me see if you're on Twitter. That's what it looks like to me. Let me see. If your name's not Tyler, blocking you. Leaf Song Mag Bag, $5. Per- leaf Season. Have I been saying Leaf Song? Yeah. Leaf Season Mag Bag. Pronounce my name right! Okay, fine! The first chick tract I ever saw in person was uh, at my college. Uh, it was covered in jizz, which should tell you about my college. <laughs> what are you what, what it's convenient paper i can't tell if that means the the college needed jesus or had too much there's a bell curve to where i think you can jack off on a chick tract <laughs> like was it just real poor and they didn't have like socks i don't know you have like a tear in your right eye corner a tear a tiny one an apostate underscore bakes uh that can't be it i don't think there's an account that is that hey if you guys want a apostate bakes uh it's available so why did i say leaf song i can't find apostate bakes either apostate that looks like bakes to me balks I guess. Brown jerk juice is Jamaica food now. I like that. That's a little Jamaican jerk joke. This is uh, C&C. Just shipped to... Okay. Credence Clearwater Revival. (laughs) Sex abacus. Y'all had a cold open in your early days about the cum box. I forgot what episode it was, but it was before the cams. Early days, we had the, the cum box existed before the cams. Holy shit. Yeah. Here you go. This is from CNC. I don't know what it is. Possible explosive. No, we didn't get a can or anything this time. Or not a can, a bag. I like to imagine that we have like a little coffee can. Oh, no, that's a thing. You handed, me a, you handed me a thing. Wait, oh. does that have a thing in it that I handed you the first time? 
Hugo and Jake don't seem to jump on bandwagons, which I like about them. They stay out of the whole SJWs are bad and K thing. Yeah, it's it's because that shit's stupid. Ooh. TARDIS um, magnet <laughs> made out of beads. That's very cool. Um, as far as Flat Earth, are you interested in Flat Earth debunkings? Uh, I mean, it might be it, a fun thing to do one time. Yeah, but, like, I think one time. Like, because it's all the rage. Yeah, I mean, I know it's all the rage. I just, like... One time! And plus, plenty of people have done it, too, more comprehensively than we could. We'd basically be... I can't take it that seriously. I think I just... I if you want us to make fun of a flat earther once, sure. I don't hate it. If we like doing it, maybe it'll happen more than once. But yeah, I don't know. Use our namey. Uh, $2. I've seen the truth. Tress don't exist. Look it up. What's that? What's a tress? Pineapple pizza fan, the pineappling, gives $2. Hashtag jerking it for Jesus. This one is a Red Ranger magnet made out of beads, and this one is a Pokeball. Oh, is this the person that sent us uh, this? I'm not... Let me see. Entirely sure. I actually don't know either. What it's probably it? from some series that I don't recognize Hold for some on. reason. Hold on, why don't I recognize this? Guys, what is this? Tell me what this is. Which way is it supposed to go? Is it supposed to go up here? Is it supposed to go down here? Is it just a roulette table? Is it supposed to be the wheel we spin movies on? No, is it like a roulette wheel? Okay, maybe. You know what I mean? I'll read the letter. It came with a letter. Oh, well, fuck. You didn't even read a letter. <sighs> I like to guess first. Dear, dearest Hugo and Jake, hello again. From Garbage, Ohio, I made a Red Ranger for Monsieur... Monsieur... I'm bad at... Monsieur... You want me to read it? Yeah. <laughs> it worked. Hello again from Garbage, Ohio. I made a red Power Ranger for Monsieur Hugo and a TARDIS Master Jake. I hope you enjoy them. Now endure the two random stories I am sharing with you. You can read them on stream if you want or not. It's entirely up to you. Hmm. We'll read the first one. If it goes well, number two will occur. <laughs> uh, ten dollars. Oh, Love the show from BVB1123. Been watching a couple months now. I do miss the sadly apparent departed Craig the Demon. Uh, he, he makes, he makes, anytime there's a demon, I do the Craig voice. Yeah. Here's his Christmas card in which this person is in a T-Rex costume. I respect. Yes, much. I did make my own Jeff Goldblum ornament. That is, that is pretty gorgeous. From T-Rex and Jeff. Solid. Is that just a roulette wheel? It might be. We don't know. I've heard enough of Flat Earthers. I could go for Ancient Aliens. You know, the ancient alien stuff that crosses over at the Bible might be interesting. Sure. Like just doing ancient alien stuff. Yeah. Uh, like the actual TV show. Yeah. I work at the dumpster fire that is Meyer, and during my long suffering days, I meet some interesting people. During one painful shift, a pleasant man stopped and chatted with my coworkers. He quickly revealed that he works for the Vatican as their fixer. When I asked what he meant, I knew full well what it was. He is one of their PR people. He told us a story about a young Catholic priest in Florida getting in trouble running around on the beaches in a speedo with string bikini clad women. He basically kicked him out of the church and dealt with the press coverage. I I was going to ask how many pedophile priests he's covered up for, but my customer service instincts kicked in and I did not interrogate the, the otherwise nice man. But, having been raised Catholic and being confirmed in the church by a man who was eventually revealed to be one of the assholes shuffling pedos around, I was distant with him, let's be honest, silently fuming. While my co-workers practically fawned over him. I do wish I had asked him questions, but sadly I need the job and cannot risk getting fired for pissing off a man who personally knew Myers president. Damn. That's interesting. You've earned story number two. Uh, oh, I thought there was more. Never mind. You guys are cheap. Anyway, fun story about the card you have received. I had a dirty dream about Jeff Goldblum. Specifically, Jurassic Park Jeff Goldblum. We've all been there. Super dirty dream bordering on nightmare. What? Did Was Jeff rough? I feel like Jeff shouldn't be so rough, even in dreams. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Anyway, since I am a hilarious treasure of a girlfriend, I decided to make a joke out of this for my lucky boyfriend. So he got home, I put on my T-Rex outfit, and turned on Jurassic Park. 
I went to the scene where Jeff Goldblum first appears and waited, giggling and like a total dork. When I heard his keys on the door, I started up the movie and pretended to pleasure myself to the movie. Oh, boy. Weirdly, <laughs> he did not find it as funny as I did. Anyways, I decided to include Mr. Goldblum in my card this year because Jurassic Park is an unrequited love story between T-Rex and Dr. Malcolm. Love, Casey and Chad. P.S. Fuck that. That's hilarious. P.S. That's hilarious. I sent a Pokeball and... Hobbit door. It's a Hobbit door. Oh, okay. Of I course see it. it is. I see it now. I got it. All right. I get it. Okay. Hobbit door magnet. In case you couldn't figure out what they were, the Hobbit door. I haven't really watched uh, Lord of the Rings, so that's why you haven't. Oh, I, super I, good. I, I let me clarify. I God damn it! I meant trees. Trees don't exist. Oh yeah. I've sat through Lord of the Rings. I haven't really watched it. Think stephically. Four ninety nine. We're on sale. Hi Hugo. Hi Jake. You're the best. No, you are. Hi Stephanie. Hi. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, this is that. We've done that before. You don't get two. Everybody gets one. What's this? Is this just to me? Is this just to me? Amazon fulfillment services? No, it says Hugo and Jake. There it is. Delivered to Hugo and Jake. Interesting. This is glorious. Hugo, you cannot escape it. Do what most do what must be done from Steven. God fucking damn it! <laughs> For one thing, you think I don't own Space Jam on Blu-ray? Of course I already own Space Jam on Blu-ray! I don't, so this is my copy. Uh that's gonna go. Right there. God damn it! <laughs> uh, chat, can I get some F's in chat for uh, Hugo? Just uh, to pay respects, please. Some uh, F. Because he just got roasted to death by Steven. Can I trade you my Blu-ray for no! this Blu-ray? I like this case a lot the better. The day you put the Space Jam <laughs> review out, you can have that one. God damn it! Because that one's like metal. Oh, you know what I found out today? Yeah, what? Uh, when Looney Tunes Back in Action came out, remember that, people? Looney Tunes Back in Action, the sequel to Space Jam, sort of. It was several years after the fact Brendan Fraser was in it. Anyway, they were going to make another one, and it was going to be called Skate Jam, and it was... Skate Jam? And it was... Tony Hawk! Yep, it was going to be Tony Hawk! That's a lot of Fs. Thanks, chat. Appreciate and you. I I'm a little sad we're never going to get to see Skate Jam. Well, because Tony Hawk is still a person, <laughs> and his feelings still matter, but... His career doesn't. Can you imagine the amazing early 2000s extreme sports Looney Tunes that they would have done? <laughs> that would have been fantastic. Who was that one guy that did the BMX bikes? I think he... he Matt uh, Hoffman? Didn't he kill himself? I don't know. Uh, Chat, can you confirm if Matt Hoffman killed himself? Because I might feel bad now. <laughs> F for Hugo Specs. Uh, e. Solikin. F for Hugh... Oh, you, already, you just said that. Yep. Uh, Hugh, what's Hugo Specs? Like oh, respects, respects. but with you, Matthew though. James, $1.99. Thanks for making me laugh when I'm feeling down. I'm always here for you, Matthew. Always. I'm here some of the time. When I'm online. The fuck? Oh, this is just, this is just for me? This has just my name on it? Wait, is this just a thing I actually ordered myself and opened? Yeah. This is, oh, that was the gift I gave to uh, Arian. I just sent it in the mail. So was it said my actual name on there? Did he get it yet? Yeah, no, I sent it uh, okay. in the mail. Uh, but it should be there. They better not fold that shit. Uh, no, they won't. It's a, it's a okay. thing. Uh, yeah, this is this is to both of us. It's probably manga. Is it goddamn more manga, motherfuckers? <laughs> you, you know, I, I, hi Hugo and Jake. Oh no, it's the infamous Goblin Slayer, but it's super good from Stephen. Stephen. Steven. Hi, Hugo and Jake. This one was written by a guy who also plays a lot of D&D, &D, so it, this fantasy is heavily inspired by it. There is even a bit of lore that the gods are deciding people's fate by rolling dice. Oh, wow. You're, getting, you're really getting after it. Come on, take a look. Leslie Clawson, $2. I'm moving. Should I send you my extra junk? If it fits in, like, a flat rate box, yes. Yes. I don't want all your extra junk. Preferably it'd be something we'd like. 
Some people just send us their actual trash, so. I don't, see, you know why I don't trust manga? Every page looks like it's one page away from being pornography. Ever well, notice that? It also looks like it's one page away from being the climax. Which, I mean, take that as you will. Let's open this one. Oh, there it is. There's the there's the pornography. That is, I'm just gonna. That's probably pornography. I'm just gonna describe these pages because I know for a fact I cannot show this on YouTube. Okay, wait, this hold is on. a page. There's this also is a, a butt here. This is a two-page spread of oh my god of naked women brutalized, tied up with their they're tied up in such a way that their breasts are individually tied with rope like like underneath to accentuate them almost and they're being used as human meat shields by goblins jesus fucking christ uh there's another there's some more boo-boos wait is that a dick no nope, that's not a dick no dicks some more boobahs Woo! you know what i think there's a reason that you guys are uh, shoved off into different corners of the internet Well, we gotta quarantine the weeb shit. Quarantine it on the giant stack of weeb shit. <laughs> just honestly pick some of that up, put that on the leftern stack, and we'll just keep it going. At some point, honestly, I think at a certain point, having having I was gonna say manga a, giveaways. I was gonna say a weeb bonfire, but <laughs> well, okay, that's I fine. I have a I have a backyard big enough to have like a fire pit and shit. I was planning on getting on one anyway. Yeah, I was too. I have a, like a spot where the people have like a pool and nothing yeah. grows there, and I was thinking about having like a fire pit with some seating and stuff. Yeah. But, but that's adult stuff. You guys don't want to hear about that. No. No. If you join the Charisma Saves Discord, sometimes people look for people to join their games. That's true. Little, little red pony. Uh, Don't forget the Karl Marx anime is coming soon. <laughs> what? It's one of the comments. So one of them said. Oh, is I, that a thing? I don't know. That's why I read it. Because I hope it's true. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus Is Christ. it more manga? It's the, it's the, you know, you gotta finish the set, right? So here's some Goblin Slayer. Uh, hi Hugo and Jake, enjoy your gift from Steven. You didn't even decide that, like, you had the gift thing and everything, and you decided not to write anything and just have the copy-paste. That one does not count. That one does not count as a gift I've opened. That's <laughs> bullshit. This one is from Gressorth. Napkep. Uh, I used to go to Books A Million and read manga. Rip. R.I.P. What's a Gressor Gressorth? Gressorth. Gressorth? I don't know. Dear humor and joke, believe, enjoy your cornament. Love, baby bird Dave. <laughs> Ornament in the shape of corn, probably. This is probably going to be a corn cornament. Yep. Which makes a lot of sense. Yep. This is very on brand for my Twitch channel. They look different than I assumed they would. They look like ears of corn. I mean, I knew, but like... Yeah, they're not really ornaments, are they? It's more like... My grandparents... Uh, is this thing old people used to do? They had like plastic have, have fruits and shit? Of, yeah. baskets of like fake Woo! fruits and vegetables? Casey DeGrave, $10. Thanks for helping distract me from my chronic illness. You guys give me a community of support and I can't thank you enough. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate you, even if you gave me three black hearts. Mike McAtheist, two dollars. I'll say it for Hugo and Jake. Stop sending weird shit. Kind of, but also I get it. And also, like, can I even like be opposed? We opened up this Pandora's box, right? I think so. The corn. I think I need. I need to keep this over here. There we go. There we go. Didn't That's stop good. the stream, right? Everything's fine. Baphomet's got a cornament now. He's good. Or she. I don't know. Yeah, it is a she. He's is, got is, boobs. Well, She's got boobs. He can have boobs. You don't know Baphomet's fucking life? Baphomet, this live is, your best life. New is, year, new you. This is from Eric. I got called gay because of my hair, like someone, but like as a pejorative, which is weird. Oh, what a wonderful way to them to let you know on their behalf that they're pieces of shit. Yeah, they called me a, a like a like a fruit. Oh. And I was like, oh. New year, new me, I guess. Uh, Patty O Furniture, $5. Jake, 
If not too personal, wasn't it hard to leave behind your ex's kids? No. I miss my ex's kids way more than I miss him. Well, that's also true. Oh. oh. But it wasn't... No, it wasn't hard. Um, kids are a lot of responsibility. They weren't always mine anyway, so it wasn't fun. Not too personal. I'm trying to think of something that's too personal for me to talk about on the internet at this point. My social security number. That's pretty personal. Thank you for asking, though. What is this? This is yours, so you get to decide if that explodes on you or not. I get to decide? Do you, do you, I decide no. Do you know if do you know what that is? I don't know. I have no idea. It's not a bomb. I'm not a bomb expert, but I think bombs need wires and what, things. What is happening here? Rushing waters! It's 2D terrain pack! Oh, it's like a D&D &D thing. Oh, it's from... It's from, uh... It, that's what it was. Never mind. It's from Eric the Terrain Guy, who we had lunch with the other day. So if you check that out, there should be water terrain. Oh! Water! Ooh. For those of you who don't know, we play D&D. &D. Basically, you slap these down on the table, and they work as obstacles or just terrain on the battle map. Indeedly do. Very cool. They're like mouse pad material, too. Mm -hmm. These are nice. Yeah. We'll be using that. Woo. Thank you, Eric. This is, uh, I guess a little shout-out to, uh, ooh, there's something... In here. Is that just more of them, or is it... There's a silicon. It smells like a Halloween mask. I kind of like that. Um, I guess shout out to Rushing Waters 2D Terrain Pack Makers, because they have this really cool thing here. Uh, what else do they do? What else does Rushing Waters do? There's 15 pieces in here. Open Field Battle Mat and a Winter War Battle Mat. I like all of this. Yes. What are y'all's thoughts on the Rocky Horror Picture Show? And have you seen the live Shadow Cast? I joined one in September and was curious uh, for your thoughts. I like Rocky Horror Picture Show. I've never been big into the uh, go to the theater and participate thing because I'm me and do not like other people. Uh, generally speaking, especially people being loud and boisterous. But, like, I'm not a, I, like, I'm glad those people go and, and have fun and have a lot of fun uh, participating along mm -hmm. with the movie, movie, and that's great. It's just not for me personally, but I enjoy the movie on its own, and Tim Curry is always excellent in basically everything he's ever been in. So, I've, uh, I've never been to Rocky Horror. I don't, I mean, it's not really my thing. I don't really like the, uh, the genre in general. So, it's... Yeah. Like, I understand the appeal, but it's also like, nah. I'd go if somebody else paid me, and it, or paid me, paid for it. I mean, you can pay me too. And it meant a lot to them. Sure. And I, like, I knew them. Yeah. Like, not you guys, but yeah. uh, then you'd actually have to pay me. But, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, make plans for it. It'd be something like, oh, I have an extra ticket, and I'll buy you dinner. Yeah. Sure. The Probably. actual show itself, by the way, I'm specifically talking about the film version, if, like, the, uh... I don't like the songs enough to actually go watch it live or anything if it was being produced, uh, as just another stage show. But I like the film. Quite a bit. I, it's um... A lot of fun. I'm more of a, uh... I like Shakespeare plays more than I like musicals. Like, that kind of... Like, I like Much Ado About Nothing was pretty good. Um, I've seen... Uh... Go watch Hamilton! You like history, and yeah. it's not a traditional musical. Well, where do I go see that? Uh, pirate it. <laughs> right. See, I would like, I'd rather go. But, um, you know, stuff... The stage, by the way. The thing is, eventually they're going to make a movie version of Hamilton, and that original stage, I don't know if the touring show has the rotating stage, but my god, the stage direction is amazing in the original production of Hamilton. Because the stage has this turntable on it. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just used super creatively throughout the show. People getting on and off it. And not like necessarily dancing. I know you're not sure. a big musical person. But the choreography well, the, is fucking astounding. See, the music, part of the thing I don't like about musicals is how like show tunesy they are. You like I, like the, I like the music from Hamilton like independent it's of it. Fun, like, but like part of the reason I... I don't know. I don't like the idea of, like, forcing it into the narrative, but I like Lin-Manuel Miranda, and so, I don't See, know. See, I don't think, I don't feel like it's forced into the narrative. Like, for instance, there's a, there's a cabinet battle, and what it is is, I forget what specific issue they were debating in the, in the, in Congress at the time. I believe it was for, uh, the federal, 
reserve system, and Hamilton was for it, and Jefferson was against it, because yeah. Jefferson, being the agrarian <laughs> dude he was, didn't want a federal I, power because he was a Democratic Republican as opposed to a Federalist. Somewhere I have Alexander Hamilton's biography. Anyway, mm -hmm. the point being, they do it in the form of a rap battle, so it's right. him, yeah. and then it's Thomas Jefferson, and if you're aware of sort of them and what they wanted at the time. It's very interesting. It's an effective way to teach history to kids, too, I think. I get that in a couple of years they'll be very much like, I'm hip with the kids, <laughs> but it's an entertaining well, show. What I, what I would have gone to see is, um, um, oh, was it the guy from Mythbusters, or was it, um, not Jamie, the other one. Who's that guy? Uh, Savage. Adam. Adam Savage, uh, and, uh, and the guy from, um... The YouTube channel Vsauce, Vsauce Michael. Michael here. Michael here. Uh, Vsauce. So Michael and Michael, Michael and him did like a like a brain tour or so. I don't know. It was okay. cool. Was and that was, part was of that was minefield it? show or no? It okay. was just like a like a tour thing. I think it was those two. It could have also been um, who's the Good Eats guy? Now I can't think. Alton of Alton Brown. Alton Brown, but maybe that was a separate thing that was near the same time. Anyway, those three people were doing were doing stuff over there. Like that's the yeah. kind of stuff I'd go to a theater to see. Sure. Um, eh, otherwise, it's it's kind of hard to get me to do that kind of stuff, like, because I'm just not interested in it, but... I went to Evil Dead the musical, and that was fun. You get very wet and fake blood because it sprays everywhere. When people get shot or anything, they shoot blood at the audience. It's pretty fun. Casey DeGrave, I use the black heart because my super religious sister, upon finding out I'm an atheist, told me I have a cold black heart, despite me being thought of as a decent human being before. Now I wear it as a badge of honor. Good. Um... Okay, I was gonna I was gonna say like shit in a bag and send it to your sister. If you want to. Uh <laughs> Constantine Janel. Koalas versus pandas, choose pandas. Pandas. Koalas okay. are idiots. Koalas are so That's stupid. Why I chose. Koalas are so stupid. How stupid are they? Koalas are so fucking stupid. Oh god. That uh It's got free drugs in the mail, guys. Sex are so stupid that what? They stop, they just die if they don't have eucalyptus oh, around? Oh, they can only eat eucalyptus leaves. Yeah, uh, that doesn't if, make them stupid. Co no, 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 no. What's stupid is if you, in front of them, put eucalyptus take leaves a, on a plate. Take a eucalyptus leaf off the tree and set it down. They won't eat it because they don't recognize it as food anymore once it's off the tree. Yeah, they deserve death. Sex Advocates, $5. If either of you are in Colorado near the end of a month, uh, LMK... Let me know, and I'll buy you dinner and into the show. I just can't afford to fly you out into the state. That's fine. True Imposter, $10. Have you seen Megan Fox's archaeology show on the Travel Channel? Spoiler alert, Stonehenge, which is an ancient, an ancient spa in America, was once inhabited by giants. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna have to check out that oh, show. Man. Oh, man. Pineapple Pizza Fan, the pineappling, $10. Have you watched The Atheist Experience? It's uh, oh, Atheist yeah. Debating Theists. Uh, apologist, uh, or I assume you mean theists, not theist, theses, um, theses, apologist, flat earthers, etc. It's super painful sometimes. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. friends with Matt Dillahunty. Yeah. Best friends. Right, Matt? Matt will back me up. Best friends. I've met Matt twice. <laughs> Same. I talk to him more than super you do. Super great guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, I actually should get back to him about the ACA stuff. Uh, free drugs. I'm hoping they didn't actually send us drugs in the mail, because that's very illegal. Well, that has the, the Harold Penisman chick tract inside of it, which is very creative. Uh, <laughs> this is from Tic Tacs. Max. It's Tic Tacs, for the record. I hope it's Tic Tacs. That looks like Tic Tacs. It smells like Tic Tacs. Oh, wait, wait, either wait. The, either wait, that or... I M also have some blue powder. <laughs> I was going to say, or MDMA got Honestly? real sugary. Honestly, saving this? Yeah. Pixie MDA MA got real powdery. MDMA got real sugary. I've, I've never like, had MDMA. Yeah. How's that work? I don't know. I've never taken it. I'm good. You know... That I, is an, a Tic Tac, yeah. Uh, uh, since the mushrooms, I've decided, no, I'm not going to try any, any new drugs ever again. No new drugs? No new drugs. Only the old ones? Hold on, give me that back. I mean, at the very least, psychoactive drugs that are not prescribed. You know what I mean? Okay. Holding on to these. Someone might get some free drugs in the mail. Just saying. 
if you were a member of Patreon. It's possible that you could get some free drugs in the mail in your gift from us. Okay, this is a this is photo. A, a photo with a frame, a framed photograph. You're getting grabby. I, I can feel I get your body so language. goddamn grabby. You fucking only child. Oh god. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh god. Okay. To Hugo and Jake with love. Harold Penisman. Do you know how how overboard this person went? I Is this the first actual Harold Penisman cosplay in history? Because Oh oh god, I have a BFFs, I got, um... Okay, alright, all right, we're gonna have to unpack this, like, literally in the, in the, like... In the way people say, like, let's unpack your argument. I'm gonna show you guys an image that's so beautiful. You know, especially... Hold on, I have photos. Especially after... I have a photo album. I'm gonna say this. After the mushrooms, you really think, have I done anything on this earth that has made an impact? I can now unequivocally say... I caused actions that made a man dress in this manner. Hold and on. And I will never not have respect for myself again. Let's take a look at this beautiful man, shall we? Guys. My God! That is a person in, in slutty Harold Penisman cosplay. It gets better. This is a this is permanently going up here. It gets better. Let's get a fucking nail and pound it into my wall. <laughs> and we will we will put it there forever. Hugo and Jake, I know you're leftists. Would you self-describe as socialist? I'm not leftist. I'm pretty left-wing. But are you socialist? No, you're not. We're not leftists. Leftists are like, are like, like, like literally socialists. Like you. I'm. So I'm. 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 I'm mixed system. Yeah, pretty much the same. Right. In the we're not leftists. Certain industries, like the healthcare industry, I'm right. fine with the government taking over for. But at the same time, Australia has a system, for instance, where there's public healthcare, right. but there's also private healthcare industries. I have no problem with <sighs> private industry. Private industry is a great fucking thing, but there are certain things that just shouldn't have a fucking say in, like healthcare and teaching and prisons. Right. Okay. This next image is um, so definitely not leftists. Just for the record, left wing. Leftists would get mad at you for folding us into that. Yeah. So um, because they consider us fairly like I, I if you you should okay self pimping again you should follow me on Twitch because I argue with leftists. This is a person, same person, in a Harold Penisman cosplay, next to a school bus. The fuck. This man should not be allowed near children. This is Max. You just want to look I want to see more? these after. Give them to me after you're done. Well, here's a uh, here's this is beautiful. Here's the slutty. Here's the slutty cosplay, again on the bed. We have a little bit more. We have another another by the back door of the bus, which I mean, like, let's be real. That makes so much sense. Are you a bus driver, Max? I gotta know. Can you put that picture up so I can finish? Well, you're gonna have to pause the video. More next to the uh, the other side of the school bus? I mean, all, totally going all out. Like, did this person go to a... A, con a complex, A cosplay? Or like, for real. Like, I'm... Did you do this, like, at a, at a convention? Because, like, there's more, like, next to a swing set or something? This is fucking fantastic. This is amazing. This guy is either what a is bus this? driver or a doomsday prepper who is Hold ready on. to bug the fuck out in Okay, his bus I have van. questions. And it has nothing to do with this amazing pose. Do you guys see what I'm looking at right here? That is a Hoover vacuum strung up on a set of ropes on a on like a wooden lattice. What? Did I'm very confused. Did, is Harold Penisman real? Did we accidentally? Ooh, this one's a little salacious. But I think we conjured him into real life. This one's pretty salacious, but we're still gonna show it. We're still gonna show it. Whew! Oh boy. Whoop. Yep. Okay. That guy, if he didn't finish before, definitely finished. Yeah, well, yeah. Probably could use a bikini wax. I was gonna say, not enough commitment to shave the legs. There are several. There's several versions of this picture, though. <laughs> this is honestly fucking awesome. This is. I've never gotten a cosplay before. Please do cosplays of more of the ridiculous things we we That's make up. That's so amazing. Like the amount of work that went into this. 
this specific picture right here has so much detail in it. It says penisman on the on the on the side here. Like there's there's the syringe. There's the free drugs everywhere. There's a packet that says free drugs. I don't know if you can see this. There's a big gun and a smaller gun, but they're like pneumatic. <laughs> they are. I don't really get it. I love it. Unless they're just more syringes. These are. It's so good. It's so good. The scar is on the face as well. Based on the vacuum, I'm guessing this dude just does interesting, creative things for fun. Yeah, I'm going to guess so too. This oh. dude is awesome. Yeah, Max. Uh, well, I I can't imagine your last name is the name I have on here. But I'm going to continue to find... We have so much more in this box still. So, it says BFFs. Is it a leash? This is a... Uh, no, these are uh, these are handcuffs. Those are handcuffs. I'll be keeping those. <sighs> There's also free drugs, like a like a photo album maybe, of more more of these pictures. <laughs> you know what? Because of this one, I might be able to use this in a giveaway. I kind of want the the photo. Book. Do you want the photo? If book? you get the framed one, I want the photo. All right, book. that works. The other ones can be giveaways, but I definitely want copies of this. Woo! It's fucking awesome. To Hugo and Jake, contact if... Uh... Now this is Maxine. But I'm, I'm worried about... That's that's not a last name, right? Eh, I still wouldn't, just in case. Okay, so... but I, Well, let's see. Let's read this. Because if, if this is a... If this is like a, like a pseudonym... And there's like business information. I would like this person to get the shout out, right? Yep. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on here. Read the thing. And okay. Uh, Otis Benthal, five dollars. What's your opinion of people saying that the Bible is meant to be read only in passages instead of like a normal book? They're wrong. That's what I say to them because they're fucking incorrect. It's it's a book. It's why you read it like a book. It's also like put into sections specifically to go together. Right, do you think do you think do you think Paul wrote the letter to the Corinthians and thought, "Please please read this one sentence at a time <laughs> out of order so you get my men no, come on." Harvey man from Jensen. I cosplay as a more a more to love neckbeard every day. Does that count? Same. <laughs> Same Z's. Dear Hugo and Jake, I'm typing this letter for Neanderthalian legibility, despite the fact that my cursive handwriting is glorious. Actually, that is pretty good. Just saying. Right there. Oh, can you see that? Is that going to focus? Glorious. Pretty good. Uh, is this your first stalker as well? Oh, no. We don't have a, we don't have a stalker that we acknowledge. Yeah, still up there. Uh, did you know that in many ways the Neanderthals had a kinder and more compassionate society than our current one? That means you should take the previous jab as a compliment, you knuckle-dragging cave persons. I've been wanting to send you two something for a very long time and was so glad when you shared your P.O. box and started doing unboxing videos. I've been a fan for years. Started watching in 2013, I think. That's a long time. And it's been wonderful to see the channel grow into what it is today. Newer fans might not know this, but there was a time when we viewers had no idea what you two really looked like. That's true. In fact, some of us were convinced that Jake was black. Really? I remember that. Is that a scene. compliment? I don't know. Because, like, I took it as one. <laughs> Made me feel cool. Because, like, I'm just not, right? And the interracial atheist bromance aspect of the channel was kind of a selling point. Our evidence was pretty strong, too. The use of Morgan Freeman's image for Jake as God and most of the all creationist cats' choice of dong to represent him in the best intro ever. Also, Hugo, I literally thought you probably looked like the Jesus in your logo. Way to be a disappointment, guys. Literally every single old fan of the show, like like 2014 in, in, in back... Thought that one of us looked, looked like, like the Jesus in the in the logo. Yeah. Very interesting. But enough reminiscing. Let's get to the loot. In this package, you will find many strange and wonderfuls. I am a professional maker of things and get a kick out of using my trade skills to fabricate art, costumes, kink equipment, and Call much it. more. This Halloween, I costume. 
Oh, for Halloween, you costumed as Harold Penisman, and I am very proud of how the outfit turned out. And close are some glamour shots of both the Harold Penisman and the sexy Harold Penisman versions of the costume, as well as some samples of the free drugs I handed out to people while in character. God damn it. That's awesome. I have also included a friendship bondage bracelet for each of you, made out of the same material, repurposed rubber, rubber overalls, and I made the costume out of BFFs, Bondage Friends Forever. We're supposed to wear these at the same time. Oh, you see it clips off, and each of us wears this, and then at times we can attach the chain. You know. Like we do. Thank you so much for all you two provide. The joy, the laughter, the pedophilia. This community has grown into something truly wonderful. And all because you two funny dudes decided to make a YouTube channel. A story so inspiring it could be adapted into an episode of Touched by an Angel. Maybe not the main plot, but definitely a quirky subplot. Fuck it, I'll be a B-plot. Grotesquely yours. Yeah, this is it. Maxine Machina. M-A-C-H-I-N-A. -A. Maxine Machina, like Deus Ex Machina. They, them, but also whatever. No big deal. P.S. On a serious note, an extra personal thing. Is this maybe. Oh no, this is fine. Also, on a serious note, an extra personal thank you for all you do as allies to the transgender community. As a genderqueer person and an atheist, it is especially strange and uncomfortable to see so many atheist commentators become more and more unwelcoming to yeah. people like myself over the past few years. Like, most of us really despise religion too, you know? There were times when you could have jumped onto the bandwagon, and I'm so thankful that you stood up for us. Genderqueer stamp of approval. Uh, yeah, it took no effort whatsoever. To not be an asshole. <laughs> but I, I, I hear that a lot. Matthew yeah. Olson with $1 Super Chat, thank you. I am uh, more than happy uh, to be a an ally of the communities of whatever, it is, LGBTQIA+. Plus and on. I didn't know you had to force it. Some people make it look pretty difficult <sighs> by continually being assholes about it. But like, for no fucking reason. But like, I guess that's the case. I'm going to put this on. You don't have to put yours on. But if you did, I'd feel a little more safe. Just gonna. Okay, I'm a I'm a two ringer. I could probably squeeze into a three. There we go. Hold on. Oh, buddy. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I feel like being tethered to you is somehow more shameful than the time I put the ball gag in my mouth, and that was used during actual penetrative sex. I'm 90% sure. Yeah, uh, literally said after you put it in there in the letter we got that it hadn't been washed, right? Or maybe they were in chat? Something like that. Oh, come on, you ring. Come on, you ring. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Guys, I'm stuck in here. Okay, hold on. So you have to, you have to slide it through. Yeah, I got there it. There we go. Okay, so I'm the only, I'm the idiot. I don't, all right. Hold on, I need another package. We are... In, we are bound to each other. I know how to work restraints. Me too. Just not this one. Going postal. Uh, Black this Smith, just most me. college students have no social skills. All right. Thanks, Blacksmith. Fuck you, college students. <laughs> are you saying... Are you saying... Is that like a... Is that like a... About like, like people being, being assholes on the on the internet. I don't know. Why do you keep just lifting your arm? I'm, seeing, I'm seeing how compliant you are. I'm the dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! There's an open box in here. <laughs> Let me read this. <laughs> it's a box covered in glitter. It was inside of this box, and inside of that was a letter. <laughs> Fuck. This is... Dear Papa Jake, how are you? I am fine. My brother Austin, me love... <laughs> okay, I know what this is. He is in the hospital. He is in the hospital and would love to see you make a new box castle. I'm sending his favorite box to help start, start it. Make... <laughs> Make the castle have a ramp in case Austin can't walk again. Love, Amanda, age six and, and three quarters. 
<laughs> so I'm supposed to make a box for it out of I this. I get the joke. You fucking assholes. You want to explain the joke if people don't get it? So the joke is, on Twitter and on you... Twitch, I'm, I go as Papa, Papa Bird Jake, right? Yeah. It's a thing because, you know, we call it, I said I'll feed you baby birds, and it kind of took on a life of its own, became a show meme, and, uh, you know, just happened. And so um, there's another YouTuber... Who's much more popular on kids YouTube who makes box forts and Fortnite dances called Papa Jake. And I hope he gets ALS. <laughs> and uh, I get DM'd by his fans weekly. Although actually, actually there has been a downtick in DMs. Maybe they maybe they found out. And uh, his his child harem DMs me some weird ass shit. And um, I heard you fucking cackle out there. Bitch. <laughs> okay, can we take these off? We take yours off so I can take mine off. We should take these off. There we go. Shut up! <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> you thought it was a crippled child, but it was me. Dio? Doi. Do no. It says no, Dio? Dio. Oh, my God. oh, it's uh, JoJo's meme, right? Am I right? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Yeah, I don't watch uh, anime. I don't watch anime. We had that really weird experience with that one kid that liked JoJo's Bizarre Adventure a lot. Remember that? No. Played video games with him? Huh. You don't remember that? No, I do. Oh, I remember it. Hope you're still around, buddy. No, I thought it was Harvey like the whole time. Yeah. I was literally about to blame you, even if it wasn't you. I have to keep this. You gotta make a box fort out of it. No, this is the box fort. There it is. I don't know any Fortnite dances. I only know the flossy one. I, I don't... Did you see uh, Ninja? I don't want to get sued by Carlton, so I can't do that one. <laughs> did you see? Did you see Ninja uh, on the 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 one thing? No. You didn't see him? Oh, I wonder what this is. Here you go. You want me to cut it for you? Sure. Or you want to get after it yourself? Yeah, go for it. You didn't see him on the the New Year's New Year's Day per or New, New Year's Eve Who celebration. Ninja, again? the streamer, the Fortnite streamer. No, he did the floss up on stage, and nobody did it with him. And he was like, "Come on, guys!" <laughs> and everyone was like, "Nope, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that fucking dance." <sighs> he got asked by NBC, 10 mistakes people make." Ten mistakes people make about heaven, hell, and the afterlife. Oh no! The back of the book says the afterlife seems like a great unknown. Was this from somebody? Human imagination and Hollywood have come up with many speculations about what lies beyond. How can we set aside the misconceptions and find truth? What are the straightforward biblical answers everyone needs to know about heaven, hell, and the afterlife? Mike Fabares, F Fabares, Fabares examines ten faulty beliefs that are surprisingly widespread. Let's see what they are. I'll go to the the index, not the index, table of contents. Uh, number one, all roads lead to heaven. Presumably that chapter's just like, you gotta be Christian. Uh, two, when I die, I'll go to sleep until the resurrection. Which is false, apparently. It's false. It is false for several reasons, but not the ones that they think. On my way to heaven, I'll have to put in some time in purgatory. That's actually interesting. Uh, that's a... Oh, God. Maybe we'll read this sometime. Not all at once or anything like a Jordan Peterson, but maybe something. What if we did what if we did one chapter every Thursday? They're only like that's ten pages. Oh, you're right, it is. Maybe, yeah. Uh Heaven is filled with see through bodies and cotton ball clouds. That's funny. <laughs> Heaven is filled with track tomes and government issued uniforms. <laughs> I'm assuming that chapter is talking about how the Bible, I mean, implying the whole lack yeah. of free will thing. Uh, let's see. I'm afraid I might send my way out of heaven. I assume that chapter is about <laughs> contradicting the previous chapter. Uh, there is no hell. Hell's going to be one big party with my friends. Literally a thing I've never heard someone 
say in real life other than Christians who think that for some reason. Maybe it's because atheists make a joke about, like, I'd rather be in hell with all uh, the cool people. Maybe. But do they think we're serious? I don't know. They think we believe in hell? I don't know. I hope they do. Uh, it doesn't matter what happens to my body after I die. I assume that chapter is going to explain why you shouldn't be cremated. Uh, is the hair pink or purple? It's more purple than pink. Yeah. It's just the light really catches it and makes it beautimous. This is a used book, though. I also it's just got watched strange, it. So. Strange stains. Always with the stains. Interesting. This is very interesting. This is to us. This is from Fort Gratiot, Michigan. And I'm not going to tell you the company that this is purchased from yet. Okay. Because I think you're going to like it after I show you what this is. I don't know what this is, but... Thank you for the book, mystery person, by the way. Just packing peanuts. Dearest Huggy and Jackal. It's a pretty good one. I love your show and enjoy laughing and learning along with you while working in my shop that you work in in Michigan? That's amazing. I have enclosed some goodies for you both, including a video shown to me as a child by an authority figure. I own a business called... B-Movie Props. This might be pretty good. Through which I make props for independent films and horror fantasy related collectibles. I make bears known as furry freaks, two of which I've enclosed for both of you. Merry <laughs> science, miss. Okay, hold on. Let me dump the peanuts into this other box. Okay, so here's a movie. Forced to watch as a youth. Rock and roll, a search for God. And it's got a picture of, uh... What's this guy's name? Uh... Honestly, that, I think, is Val Kilmer as the guy that he played in uh, the, the, doors? the Doors. He played It's Jim Morrison, but I think that's actually Val Kilmer playing Jim Morrison. Let me look. Oh, my God. These are these are super, really well done. Holy shit. No wonder you own this business. You are extremely talented. Can we come to your business and watch you do stuff? No, that's the real Jim Morrison. Is it? Yeah. Because here's the picture. Yeah, but Val Kilmer did the same picture for the I'll movie. I'll look it up, but it's too... No, it's not. I can look at it right now and tell you it's not Val Kilmer. I don't know, dude! No, there's... Because there's Val Kilmer. No, there's you're right. One. It's just... You can see it's stylized, so it's very close. Poor Val Kilmer. Yeah, well... Okay. I'm going to read the rest of this letter that okay. I've dropped. But I can't let you see the cool things yet. I saw the Jason bear. Aww. Okay, fine. Here's the Jason bear. Woo! It's fucking cool. And here is the uh, Leatherface bear. <laughs> Guys, these are fucking dope. These are so cool. What's the name of the company again? B, B Movie Props. You can go to bmovieprops.com. Yep, just the letter B, movieprops.com. Yeah. These are cool. This is like this is like straight up custom handmade like it's all almost ceramic. This is so fucking neat. It must be molded on. Also extremely soft. Yeah. The human hair this bear cut off of the skull of the human to make this mask, very well kept. <laughs> Which one do you want? I feel like you're more of a Jason I'm guy. I'm more of but... a Jason fan. Okay. I nice. like I like the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh god, I'm running out of space up here. Sorry, pomade. Oh god. Oh oh god. Come on, come on, bear. Come on, bear. It's close enough. Uh, this video, Rock and Roll, A Search for God, scared the living shit out of us when I was a child. We watched it approximately 30 years ago, so try to imagine when we watched it, thoughts of atheism were virtually unheard of, and our abilities to research material were limited to the school or local library. 
Therefore, we were questioning our Christianity based on gut feelings and the horrible stories found within the Bible itself. A movie like this given to a kid by a trusted adult was absolutely horrifying. Pretty please do a review of it if you're able. I too am a Michigander hailing from Port Huron. If you guys are ever in the area, I would love to meet up for drinks at Lynch's Irish Tavern and an incredible sandwich from Moe's Corner in Delhi. My treat. P.S. In the episode covering JP's 12 Rules, Chapter 8, when the bug attacks Hugo, it lands on his shirt to the left of the Atari logo, it eventually crawls up to his neck and on, out onto his collar, behind his head, back to the point of his collar, and flies off. Looks like a Japanese beetle. I rewound the attack like 30 times. Funniest shit I've seen in a while, especially the close-up of his face just after. I love you guys. We watched the Jordan Peterson video after that to see where the bug went. Because I was sure that it flew off. Sarah was watching it, and I believe she's the one that noticed it didn't fly off. When I sat Because there, I'm here, and I can't see that side of you. I know it flew off that way, when right? I sat there, and I know I survived the encounter because I'm me. So, so we sat there, and we're like, Oh, God, it's crawling! On me. For, like, what, 30 straight minutes? Something like it that. It was nuts! I didn't like that. Woo! It was, uh... And by the way, that's with editing. Yeah. So that, that was on you for 45 minutes, roughly. That was a that was a harrowing experience. I hope the bug is the bug is well and, and, oh. and doing doing things on their own now. Ah, Port Huron, close to Sarnia, Ontario. Yeah, but Afterac, you have insurance. Well, healthcare. You don't need insurance, do you? You fucking commie. I did it. Jake, not Hugo. Yeah, this one's just you. This is from Non-Compete? What's that? I don't know. Why does that sound familiar? Have I interacted with you before? Non-Compete? Non-Compete. Wait a second, did I do a thing? Now I'm, now I'm confused. I do a lot of things. Jake, not Hugo. Four XL Vietnam size equals two XL. Thank you for your support. What did I do, non compete? I love you. What did I do? This is very soft. Holy shit. Non compete. I got a shirt. What did I do? I don't know. Hold on. Wait, this is the bread tuber, right? American Johnson? Yeah. But I didn't support. But we talked a little bit on Twitter. That's what it was. Okay. So now I have a shirt! Thanks. Capitalism. Because, uh... Because they're anarcho-socialists or communists. Oh! Do you get it? To be fair, this was free. So, not socialism or socialism! I do I have to share this? This is a very... Feel the shirt, though. Feel this shirt. It's a soft shirt. It's a good-ass shirt. If they were sheets, it'd have a very high thread count. Okay, I'm gonna wear this for like a moment, and it's very hot in here. It is. <sighs> How many more packages we got? <sighs> okay. Thank you for the shirt. Ugh. We got as many packages as we have, okay? Love seat was a bad idea. We should have sprung for the couch. Why? You want to fucking so, lay down? No, we're just so close to the body heat. We didn't have space. Eh. There's not a lot of space over there, and there's a door over here. Fuck your door. I don't have to We live. have to use it. Incoming Connie's. Commies. Yeah, it was Luna Oi. I'm pretty sure it was Chris that purchased it for me. You know, anyone from Twitch? Chris? I think that's... I'm moving, and I have to give away my cat. You want... Do you want a cat? I'm getting a cat at the end of the month already. Another cat? Yeah. Two cats? That's that's two cats. That's more than one. That's a lot of responsibility. Cats are pretty chill. Cats are chill. Uh, if anyone wants Patio Furniture's cat, um, Casey DeGrave wants a cat. 
Congratulations, your channel is now part of BreadTube. I guess so. Hugo looks sad. No, that's just my face. <laughs> Going Postal. That's just what I look like. Don't we usually get a package from Going Postal? I feel like we do. I don't know. You don't know? We get a lot of packages all the time. Yep. But I feel like Going Postal is one. I don't recognize the name. Also, uh, for the record, sorry BreadTube fans watched the How This Will Work series by American Johnson. Not sold! Not a big fan of, uh, well, that's another thing we can unpack at some other point. I'd love to have American Johnson on, though. I think he's a nice dude. I just don't think it makes any sense whatsoever. Okay, so there's some... We got we got gifts! Oh my god, they're like Christmas presents. Here, you opened wrap. that one! I got bacon-flavored wraps for Darwin! Hey, Darwin! Whenever I get, I get a gift that's wrapped proficiently, I feel like such a piece of shit. Yeah, I really Because it's bad just at a it. skill. I can't I can't guesstimate how long to make the things to make the flaps right, so it winds up being this big and I just crumple Woo! it all up. That's a that's a that's a thing a dog's gonna like. You wanna smell it? Yep. Mm. Hey Darwin! He can't walk through a door. This is basically me saying, Sarah, open my door, bring the dog. But it's like movie magic. They don't know that. See? He just popped the door right open. <gasps> Buddy! Do you want a treat? Come here. You want a treat? Oh, did you hit your eye again? Poor buddy. He sat down like a nice boy. Here you go. Here you go. It's a treat. It's for you. Harvey! So you know, I... Was it... Is this Harvey? You know... Thanks for sending that, Harvey. I... Harv. I... I Harvey was the one who sent the crayon book. Is that, what is that? I'm gonna hand this to you, and okay. you're just gonna open it, because I want you to have the same experience in the same All order right. that I had of opening this. Alright. So you opened it. Don't say what it is, and then I want to show it to her. Okay. Alright. Don't look. Turn away. Like you have shown it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes! So, so, blind, when, though. when he said, remember the Jordan Peterson... Remember the Jordan Peterson thing I sent you? <laughs> Which thing? The, he sent the Jordan Peterson letter oh, that we yes. have right yeah. there. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I about this. So, he told me about this. So this right here, kids... Is a Touched by an Angel spec script! It's a spec script. It's a screenplay. Touched by an Angel, The Last Generation, Episode 1. Here's what's gonna happen. First of all, I'm not going to lie to you. I would like to start a Kickstarter. I haven't read a sentence. <laughs> I would like to start a Kickstarter to fund the filming of this. Harvey, you're in charge of everything. Uh, I just want to get I just want to get paid a wage to be this. to be lead actor. Hold I, on. I can do Hold screenplay on. format Hold better than wanna, you. You can I don't think that's the case. That is the case. But I can also but I can also I just want to read it real quick. Okay. In my in my head. Oh. Mm. Can I read this out loud so people don't just have a stream of you making weird grunting noises while reading something? That'd be fantastic. <laughs> you go soon as now. <laughs> God I, damn it. I gotta be honest. Already want to fund this. I wish we were wealthier. Here we go. <clears throat> it is... Whew. It's like like you took the time to put this on proper like like paper stock. Yeah. Like and yeah, no, uh, this okay. is this took probably an afternoon for Harvey based on how Harvey writes. Did we explain what this is? Yeah, we did. Okay. This is a this is yeah. a screenplay. This is a okay. this is a spec script for a Touched by an Angel reboot episode, but with with show memes. Exterior, city, night. You, you can play the, the, the Donna bits. Jake's weird grunting does it for me. See, Samuel's on my team. A young woman stands atop a rooftop. Mm. This is Donna, our new angel in waiting. She's young. I just don't know what you mean. She's Do I have lines? Yeah. And non-threateningly attractive. If the numbers bear out, perhaps she's even a minority, like a Canadian. <laughs> Booming voice. Well, I won't, I'll just... You gotta do the booming voice. Yeah. You have failed in your duties, and this world is doomed because of it. No, no, I, no, I didn't. 
It's too late. Behold the form of destruction. Cut to wide shot. A group of buildings from Donna's vantage point. Thunderous footstep. Footsteps shake the camera as something huge and blue moves down the street behind. <laughs> Close up to Donna's face. It, it can't be. Cut to exterior city circle. The footsteps continue. Whatever it is, it's coming closer and emerges from the buildings into the city traffic. It's a massive blue book with yellow trim and songbook written on its cover. It's easily a hundred feet tall with arms, white gloved hands, sneakered legs, and a face... So growing... glad we did a salty review. <laughs> and a face growing out of the book's spine. It's horrifying. It's nightmarish. It's... It's... Cut to. Close up. Donna's face. It's... It's... It's Salty the Singing Songbook! Salty roars off screen. Smash cut to exterior city street dusk. The air is thick with smog and sin. It is the near future. Things are a little grimier. Political correctness pushing morals a little further. <laughs> but for now, all we see to establish the time period is some lightly futuristic wardrobes and set dressing. Maybe some holographic advertising. Donna is center frame, blinking rapidly. What? A vision? A premonition? She looks around, collecting her surroundings. What? Oh, foo. No, I know what it says, I just... <laughs> oh, oh, it's a pejorative. Oh, foo! She's flustered and lost. A Baptist at Catholic Mass. <laughs> That's good. Uh... This is... Yeah. How many pages? It's 45 pages or I something? think we need to just do a stream and read this and perform it at like some a, point. Like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a reading? Yeah. Uh, Patio Furniture, joint movie with Brad Jones. We need to, we need to make this happen. I, be I believe Brad is how busy working on the Cinema Snob movie sequel. How much money do we need to make this? I believe he raised $80,000 for his, uh, mo more, most Well, he could easily movie. raise 160000 then. No, we could not. Gauntlet, Brad. <laughs> also, there's a Fish Called Wanda DVD in here, oh, okay. starring John Cleese, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Klein, and Michael pa Palin. Michael Palin. Is it Palin? Yeah. Also, apparently, uh, scene 14 is Harvey Manfringen said, Manfran, Manfrentensen, which is not what his is, but... It's close. Remember when DVDs used to come with shit like this? Is this hot cocoa? I think we got hot cocoa jars? To Hugo. You're, that's your DVD. You will watch A Fish Called Wanda for sure. Probably. I got socks. Marvel socks? Oh, they're Marvel socks. These are super comfortable. New York Times bestseller Terry Pratchett, Nation. When a giant wave destroys his vi village, Mao is the only one left. Daphne, a traveler from the other side of the globe, is the sole sur survivor of a shipwreck. Separated by language and customs, the two are united by catastrophe. Slowly, they are joined by other refugees, and as they struggle to protect the small band, Mao and Daphne defy ancestral spirits, challenge death itself, and uncover long-hidden secrets that literally turns this world upside down. This sounds like a book you'd read. I'm not a big fiction reader. Generally, I, I, I like nonfiction books. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Or comic Have books. Have you read Fire in a Cane Break by Laura Wexler? No. Because I mention it often. It's very good. You should like, you would probably like it. Okay, I'll keep the book. Uh, Ace Daggy. Fifteen. Five dollars. A donation toward the movie. <laughs> Thank you. What is this? This must be to me. To bleh. To Sarah. <laughs> Sarah! I was going to open this, but I figured I probably should just let you open it. I got a present? Of course you got a present. You're part of the show, sort of. Sort of. And to Jake. Did I get socks, too? Am I a producer if, if you're a producer, I, I expect you to handle oh more shit. Oh my god, they're so cute! Wow. 
What are they? It's little fox slippers. Oh, that is a very That's you precious. gift. These are cute. Yeah, that makes sense. Harvey, you've done so well. My feet are always and then I got them. Marvel socks. These are nice socks. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on, there's a card. This is from Harvey. Get out of here, kitty! Yeah, it's from Harvey. Thank oh, you, Harvey. Kitty got deeper because you weren't on your shit. To Hugo, Jake, and Sarah. See, so you got real small. It's real small. Oh, I'm just a tiny. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's some hot cocoa jars. I, one is for Hugo, probably. I gotta imagine. Here, you can... Yoink. Yoink. This one has an R on it. Well, so does the other one. Soon. Happy Hogs Watch, Hugo and Jake. It is I, your boy, Harvey Manfrangensenden, with more Lugheric Japery. As much as I can fit on this tiny card. It's this size card. And it says Happy Hogs Watch. It's very nice. No booze this time, Papa, but I have included some homemade cocoa mix to delight the sweet tooth you don't have. Raspberry is marked with an R, and the regular is marked with an R. Wait, shit. You have regular, that's raspberry. Do you have a... Do you have a preference? I'd rather have regular. I don't like raspberries. Let me sniff like it. Raspberry. She doesn't like raspberries, but I do. Let me sniff it. Ooh, these are very soft. That's raspberry. That's raspberry? Oh, yeah. The red one... The red R isn't the raspberry? That's definitely raspberry. The red R isn't the... Okay, switch. Switch. Hold on, switch them out. There's also the time-honored tradition of Christmas socks from a stranger, as well as an autographed copy of my namesake that you might no longer wonder whence it came. Uh, the inscription in the book should provide context for its inclusion. The inscription in the book? That's actually... Hold on, you signed the book? I didn't actually look at the first page of the book. What, are you lying to me right now? The inscription in the book? A Terry Pratchett book? Are you talking about the book for the DVD? Because yes, I read that. Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas 2018. Terry Pratchett is one of my favorite authors. Best known for the astounding Discworld series and the co-author of Good Omens. This is his best work. A story of humanism, critical reasoning, self society and more along with hitchens dillahunty and you two cuckleheads it helped me cement a mindset of humanism and skepticism the real stuff not the greg kind <laughs> it is it is also one of the most beautifully written and ingenious books i've ever i've ever written red red, red. did you write this book are you terry pratchett terry pratchett's dead i think so no. Thanks for the corn. At least you're not other Sarah, Sarah. What's that? Oh. Oh. That was other Sarah. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's also one of the... Oh. Pratchett passed away in 2015 from early adult onset Alzheimer's. Called it! Uh, at the time this was writ at the time this was written, the language center of his brain was deteriorating, and he struggled to read and write. As such, nation was largely dictated. I thought about how perfect the writing is often, and it both humbles and inspires me. I know you're both busy chaps with your own interests, but if you ever get around to this, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Fondest regards, Harvey Mandren Manfred Jensenden. Um, uh, do you want your first name to be read aloud? Because I will do it. But since you put that in parentheticals, I don't know. I think, I think I've think i known your first name a couple times. Um, Terry Pratch dead. Greg Kind? Maybe that's how kinds are defined. Nice. So this isn't dementia. It's not. Um, there's also a time honor to do... Oh. Um, the very special gift should be self-explanatory. You ought not to have joked about such things, Hugo. Look at what you have wrought. <laughs> As always, thank you for your hard work, great content, and positive presence online. Special holiday hellos to my baby bird Twitter mates, Matthew Mendel, Sarah Pseudosapien, Brooker, and Badab, with two A's, B-A-D-A-A-B. I'm on TV, punks! Well, crap. That's all I had drafted, and there's so much white space left. Man friend Jen Senden, out! P.S. No, really, this bugs the crap out of me. I'm only writing this to fill up space. December tw 2018. I'm keeping it. It goes back there. You're getting lots of shit to display this episode. Harvey Man friend Jen Senden, I don't care. His name is Zach Doxed!
That's not the end, though. We still have more. Told you guys. We didn't have enough last time. But Too much this time. Too much. Uh-oh. I need the claw. You gonna stab it and pick it up? Maybe. You gotta do it softly. So you don't snap the blade. Let's go through customs? What is this what is this on here? No, this is just from Paul. There's no customs to be had here. Now you get to do Paul gift. Paul gift. By the way, special shout out to Harvey Manfringe and Sendin. Good follow on Twitter at Harvey Manfringe and Sendin, I think. I actually don't know you're at because I just I followed you for ages. I think I follow you. If I don't follow you, that's an oversight because you're always in my mentions. I feel like I 100% do that. Here you go. This is from Paul. To Hugo. <laughs> There's a card. We're very bad. We're very bad at the... You don't have to give me $5 to say I don't care, by the way, Harv. I appreciate it, but I was looking for you. <laughs> Happy, uh, into... In, 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 into denomin denominated holiday season. The Paul Allen and Seth. Seth? Probably Scott. Scott, sorry! It does look like Seth, though. That 100% looks like Seth. <laughs> Scott's like, who the fuck is Seth? Yeah. No, this is just, this is also, okay, both of those postcards are just going up there. Do Hugo and Jake over that? Sure. Okay. I'll open this. Okay. John Norris. Oh, no. What a, what a, what a bro. Oh, no. <laughs> remember, remember yes. Creation Adventure Team? Well, he's got another DVD. This one looks like it's not, uh, not... It might still be for, like... Yeah, it still says kids. I'm guessing older kids because this doesn't have, like, animatronic dinosaur people. So, <laughs> we'll have to do that at some point. Ugh. This Maybe is that, from the Ark Encounter. Ark signs that teach a flood of answers. Oh Here's one. Evidence for a flood on Mars. Why, why would the Great Flood affect Mars? We don't know. There's a dick on that one. This one has a dick on it. That's God, for you. God, arc signs. Fuck. We have a lot of content I here. I feel like these are VHS tapes based on the size. Yeah, they feel like VHS. Oh, boy. You have a, you have a thing? Adventures in Odyssey. I remember Adventures in Odyssey. Did, did they have a, uh, a, a radio, jingle? They had a radio show that was on. How's it? They have a Adventures in Odyssey. Is that... I don't remember. Doon, 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 the Buttercream Gang! I think Brad's reviewed this. <laughs> yeah. This sounds super familiar. Yeah. I think he's reviewed this. But. Good kid, small town fun, and unconditional love for a struggling friend. Alright. You should get Greg to research his stuff. I don't think he tries to be dishonest. Good ego is just too big to Google stuff. So that just informs his worldview more. Uh, if you think I have Greg's ear, you're wrong. He has blocked me on Twitter for answering his questions. Um, this one's to Hugo. Oh boy, have you seen this? The movie? No, this isn't the movie. This is Dungeons and Dragons, the animated series. Oh, I have not. I have watched some of this, actually. Is it good? <laughs> it's interesting. Most Dungeons and Dragons licensed stuff sucks. It's it's interesting. Oh, that's where the Dungeon Master comes from, though, that little that little dude. Because it's interesting to see a very AD&D &D era interpreting AD&D &D into animation for children. What it's is fun. this? What is this, do you think? Because it's only to you. So I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to open it again. This is, um... 
Paul sent us a box of wadded up one dollar bills. This is a good uh, metaphor for our entire relationship with Paul, by the way. The wadded up bills in a box. Pray more, worry less. Oh, nice. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. That's... And it was made in the USA. See, I was thinking there was a keychain at the bottom, like it was a joke. Fuck it. What he should have done is just drilled a screw into this and put a keychain thing on it. So <laughs> it's like a Everything is a keychain if yeah. you try hard enough. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Jake. To Jake. Oh, God. This was uh, more than I anticipated. Uh, <laughs> when the DM smiles, it's already too late. That makes sense. I actually DM'd Paul's first ever D&D game, and he seemed to very much enjoy it. We did that last time. He uh, visited, and I think it was fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who, they spent so much money on this fucking propaganda book about the fucking flood. Like. I don't get it. They're not making a return on investment on it, so I don't. They must legitimately believe it to some extent. <sighs> Christ. Yeah. <laughs> These are so bad. All right. I rather like good hair, man, although I don't get to vote. What are we talking about? Who's good hair, man? Oh, my. Ah. Uh... Who's beef? What? What are you guys talking about? Now I guess here's the real question. Is anybody else here in Quebec? Nice. Oh, we're talking about Justin Trudeau? I think Trudeau, I'll trade you. How about that? How much dog hair ends up in the weed that you smoke? Zero. I use a vape. Because I'm a fucking... It's Adult. 2019. Yeah. You're still burning leaves to get high. You're in the past. Come into the future with neon and electric drugs with the rest of us. Yep. Harvey Man, friend Jen Sinden with $20. I budgeted $50 for today. I'm at Whip Chatterly on Twitter. That's what it is. I'm working on video content for the summer in addition to fuck widths for you guys. You guys for real. Heart you guys for real. Probably be in Michigan this year at some point. Let's do lunch. Let's do more than lunch. The fact that they actually take the time to list the different kinds they think were on the arc is actually pretty funny. Yeah, at Whip Chatter. Like, like, there's only like, bear in mind, there's like nine of these categories. And basically creationists, at least apparently the people who wrote this book, their argument is that you didn't need one of every species. You'd have one of every kind, which is a category that doesn't actually exist in taxonomy. Uh... So they're trying to come up with what's, the, like, the the base animals all the other animals could have come from. One of the kinds is the giraffe kind. <laughs> How many animals came from the giraffe kind? Giraffes. Giraffes. Camels, maybe? Maybe camels, they could argue, but, like... Wait, that giraffe has a tiny neck. Yep. Why is that giraffe? Why? Did... That's a giraffe. <laughs> The horse kind, the hippopotamus kind. Okay, is it because cloven hooves? The spinosaur kind, the tyrannosaur kind, the pack, pacacetid kind. I believe these are words they're probably making up for their own purposes, so. Anyway. I remember when they didn't have faces in my head. I'm sorry about that. I've always had a face, though. Yeah. Yeah. The nostalgia is real, but the videos are so awkward. Yes. I don't like the old videos. I like parts... Of, like, I like... How about this? I like I like the jokes. I still think most of it's pretty funny. I think our, our we're, we're clearly not good at the delivery. Nah, and we do a lot of edgelord shit well, in I mean, the early days. Well, and I, a little I, bit later than the early days. I wouldn't say that we're less edgy. I intentionally try not to be as oh my god that the I try not to make jokes that are mostly he said a thing that is not okay to say. What do you mean? Like 
You mean Hugo said a thing that's not okay to say? Yeah. Oh. I just find that kind of joke cheap at this point. Oh yeah. Well, like he said a shocking thing. Oh well, and... well yeah. There was there's a there's a statute of limitations on how many times you can say. Like, I, to be fair, like, it's you said typewriter cum dick, yeah, like, in our last video. That's different, though. You know but what that, I mean? the joke isn't just, I'm mean, saying the word No, I, cum. I agree. It's about what the thing is. But, I'm fine so with why, these, why hole isn't that either, I think. I'm fine with being crass. I'm just not okay right. with, like... I'm trying to think of a time... Like, the joke is he said a thing. What's, what, I'm trying to think of, like, when you've done that, like, and it, that it hasn't been at least why hole level clever. Because, I mean, we were talking about an autopsy kid, and the character in that was just a fucking weirdo. And that was a joke for three panels, and we forgot, and it took on a life of its own, right? Eh, just... You know what I mean? I don't think... I don't feel like you do superfluous jokes... Very often. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Still don't like the old stuff. Well, you don't like any of the stuff. Correct! So, I mean, like, who are you to judge? <laughs> no one, apparently. All right, you're zero. Zero people. Why hole is both low and high point? Uh, it's... Yeah, I think it... It's I, the intersection right. of those points. Yeah, no. That's the why. <laughs> Fuck. See, that's smart, too. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Like, no, I think yeah. I think a lot of our jokes... And there's definitely been shitty jokes that we, like, don't... Aren't funny. But, um... Yeah, have we ever punched down? I don't think we have. And if we have, I don't think it was on purpose. I'm sure I have. We've done this for seven years. Like, actually punch... I'd like the, Where so. the joke was, like... We started the show when I was in my fucking teens. I guarantee I said some dumb shit. I know for a fact I've said some dumb shit. Well, sure, but I'm trying to think of when... Like, a punch down to me is, like... Is, like, making fun of someone that has downs because of the downs. Yeah. I uh, guarantee... I probably made a joke like that at maybe. one point when we started. I don't think we're that... We've ever been, like... Because I was trying to be try hard and, like, maybe. oh, my God. I don't know. I'd like to see more Michigander videos from you guys. Jesus Christ. Hope. Oh. Hope. Oh. Is that all the packages? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yep. Uh, any other questions? We've yeah, been here for we'll two give hours. You, we'll give you what? Five minutes. Five minutes. You've got five minutes. If you want Hugo time, let me know what you want me to talk about. But it can't be Elon Musk because i got to save that for next time. Uh, you made a joke about cleft lip babies. It kind of hurt. Yeah, stuff like that. See, I don't remember doing that, but I believe I probably did that when I was like eighteen. Uh, I think I remember. Um, uh, we made a joke about India, and said that they tend to have a lot of cleft lip babies. I don't remember what it was. But... I don't remember again. Yeah, we made a joke about feline AIDS once, and then that guy got pretty upset. I'm okay with making feline AIDS jokes. You think we can make another feline AIDS joke? And use interesting graphics and whatnot. <laughs> I feel like the faceless days were kind of more interesting in a way. Um, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I think they're more mysterious. Um, I don't miss editing those videos. No. Because you said I had to find a lot of clever video, uh, uh, like, interesting graphics. Do you know what I'm doing when I do that, right? Typing in keywords to try to fit anything there at certain points. Right? Like, it, like there's only so many pictures on Google. And I think I've seen every single one of them. Imagine you have a like a, a forty five minute conversation, and you have to put every four five seconds or so. Every between five that's third five and twenty to thirty seconds maximum. You got to change the picture every time. We uh, well, I never did thirty second pictures. I I capped myself at fifteen ish. Okay. Um, but uh, one of us is lazier than the other, <laughs> so I understand. Uh. Hugo, did you struggle with letting go of your religion, or was it more a seamless transition? I was part of an ex-Christian group for a while for support. Um, I didn't... How how non-religious were you when we met? God, I mean... Like on a percentage scale. I think by that point I was entirely non-religious. I don't know how yeah, so. big I was on talking about it or thinking about it at that point. I was definitely thinking about you it. definitely because, got big into talking about it at a certain point. Because I, when I was first separating from it, I felt very betrayed in many ways by, like, adults in my life and, like, people who I felt had lied to me about things. Yeah. Not even necessarily just my parents, but, like, people in the Christian school I had gone to and... Uh, it, it was tough. I had some existential shit going on. Like, okay, I have this prepackaged meaning that, well, it may not have been factually true at the time, 
at the very least for me, it felt like this is the truth, this is the meaning, and it was basically ripped away from me. Yeah. In fairness, it wasn't something anyone had the right to give me in the first place because it's untrue. But, sure. like, it still becomes this vacuum of uh, meaninglessness that you have to sort of fill and start to understand, okay, my frame of view on the world is changing fairly, fairly fundamentally what am I going to fill these spaces with and how am I going to find meaning moving forward? So it was a struggle. Uh, I mean, it's it, it's just the struggle of being alive and being aware of like, sure. hey, we're on a rock floating through space. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah. Sam Kane with $5. Chapo Trap House just did, just did a Call of Cthulhu game that was hilariously self-aware. Have you seen it? I have not. Mm -mm. I have him on Twitch, but I don't really watch a lot. I like the podcast way more. Uh, Bernice Panders, two dollars. Can you guys do a quick review of Fahrenheit eleven nine? Do you mean uh, no nine eleven? No, eleven nine was What's the that? one he did uh, about Trump getting elected, which was on eleven oh, nine. He got elected. Did he? Yeah, the he, same guy. Yeah, Michael Moore. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking of uh, no, no, no. I was thinking of the nine eleven truther. No, uh, Michael Moore uh, also did that. I've only seen Fahrenheit nine eleven. I was I haven't thinking seen of eleven nine. What's the what's what's like a really the popular 911 truth I know video. what you're talking about. I know the guy. The uh, kid with the glasses? Yeah. I can't remember what that's I forgot called. The I'm sure chat will figure it out. Um uh, I feel like you guys are kind of unique and skeptic atheist YouTube at least in that you veered to the center center left as many other figures went right or even all right. I wouldn't say we're center at all. I'm pretty fucking left. I'm, I mean at I'm least just for so... the United States I'm left. Um... I mean I'm just not so far left that I think capitalism has no place. But as far as, like, socially speaking, yeah, unless it actually affects free speech, but, like, most of the time I don't think it actually does. Yeah. Um, like, if they were putting, if they were putting, if if Jordan Peterson actually was getting, getting put in prison for misgendering people, right? <laughs> sure. Like, then I'd be like, okay, you have a point, yeah. right? But, like, that's not happening. So, yeah. I have no, no real problem with it. Um... I do know a lot of people did veer to the right, though. Because I don't get it. It's so bizarre. Well, I do. They made a lot of money. That's sickening. I know it is. I'm That's just saying. That's sickening. I'd yeah. rather lose every penny I have being honest and speaking my mind than pretending to be something I'm not to make money. What a Put that on a t-shirt. What a hollow, fucking useless life you have if that's what you're doing. Honestly, getting, right. <laughs> getting in front of a camera to pander to people. Yeah. Which is why, I don't know, some people uh, like to say that, like, um, first of all, they say that we're more political than we ever were, which I disagree with. No. Um, second of all, they say that most of the stuff we've been doing recently is political, which I disagree no, with. No, it's not. Like, our, I, I went back and looked. Our 17th video ever was the Mitt Romney one. Yeah. Our 22nd video ever, I made a pro-gay marriage documentary that went an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Like we've we've been as political the whole time. Like like just because we didn't have we didn't bitch about Obama a lot, right? But we brought him up. Obama was mostly competent, right? Most of the time. Yeah, I'd say like except for the tan suit, he should have been impeached for that. Like but you like, can argue about policies and sure. shit. I don't think anyone seriously argues he wasn't a competent individual. He has right. a law degree from Harvard. Donald Trump, I feel like, might struggle to put pants on in the morning. So... Yeah, like, if Hillary was here, right? I'd have plenty of shit to complain about if Hillary was the president, but I wouldn't be concerned that there was an incompetent person. See, in the, there's in there's the a reason conservatives that people like George Bush, W. Bush, uh, even H.W., but George W. Bush, and Donald Trump get made fun of, right? Do you know why? They're dumb. Because they're dumb as fuck. They're just real dumb. That's why. It doesn't make any sense. Like, right now, we're the Ocasio-Cortez stuff with the dancing, like, like the right... I know, and, and people might say, well, it wasn't a bunch of people. It was enough people to be like, stop it. Like, it's amazing. Oh, my God, a college student was dancing. I know. Is, is this the town... Are you... Is, 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 it's is literally GOP, Footloose. I was going to say, is the GOP head fucking John Lithgow from Footloose? It is. What? Yeah, Who no. cares? Yeah, no. Who cares? So, uh... Asinine. On top of that, they don't understand, like, how tax brackets work today. What are marginal tax rates? Yeah, like... It's only been how tax rates have worked since income tax has existed in the United and by, States. And by the way, like, the 50s and stuff had a 90% marginal tax rate. I don't know what the upper part of that was but like like bajillionaires didn't exist back then well for two reasons because you know monetary 
you know, just just how our system works. It takes a long time to accrue that much wealth but here's the in thing. the system. No, but, they did exist. John D. Rockefeller fell into the 90% tax bracket. Right. I think he was one of the few, if not the only person who did. But the thing is, once you're at that level of income, you don't need that much fucking money. Right. You're the wealthiest person on the planet. Right on the planet, and now, so now, now there's like now there's like Republicans saying like because Ocasio Cortez outlined her her progressive tax um, thing, yep. um, on sixty minutes maybe, and uh, thank you Dungeon Cheese for five dollars. The hat is the other hat that used the wear what <laughs> stroke. Uh, <coughs> what you gave, I... me, you gave me five dollars for that? I really want to understand. Uh, well, anyway, uh, so, yeah, so basically she outlined, like, 10 to 15% on the first $75,000 that anyone makes, at about $10 million it goes up to 70%, right? So it doesn't mean that you pay 70% on all the money you made up to 10, 10 million, it means that for the first 75000 you paid 10 to 15%. After that, you pay X amount, and at $10 million, you pay 90% on the 10 millionth dollar. 70% is what you're Or 70%, saying. but it was it was 90% in the 50s. Sure. But yeah, but, but that's what I mean, like, like, this is so basic common sense, everybody should know this shit. This is how the government gets funded. <laughs> Because when you are wealthy and successful in a country that is usually down to not your own individual go get them bootstrap attitude, it's also because of the infrastructure and other people in the country. So once you make above a certain income, you get to give back to that country and help others do the same thing. Throw a ladder down and help other people up instead of kicking the ladder once you get to the top and say, fuck all of you, I got mine. That's the modern Republican Party. Fuck you, I'm already rich, no one else can have it. It's annoying, it's gross. I'm just sick of it. It's been five minutes. That was my Hugo time for the for the episode. Yay! So, that's I'd rather it. meet Barack than any other president, probably. Y'all seen the protest over the vegan sausage roll, says Zinwao GT? I have, have mm. you? No. Uh, you haven't? No. Are we talking any president or any living president? Because that's a well, different living answer. presidents, Barack. Well, Any Obama. Pre- Who would, I don't want to meet Bill Clinton. I don't care. Mm-mm, I don't want him to touch me. No, Obama seems like legitimately like a, nor- a nice guy who was trying to do his best for the most part. Yeah, I, and I think he's, a, he's the, pretty corporate. I, I disagree with the drones and shit, but it's only gotten worse under Trump. It's not like the other. Yeah, it's. I disagree with j- drones when airstrikes are on the are the only option on the table and not not bombing people. Right. I don't. I agree with drones if the only option is bombing things. That's how. That's my take on drones. Drones bomb things. They no, I know. I know. But if you're if you're going to bomb, a hundred percent chance of bombing. Yes. Pick the drone. Yeah. That's where I stand. Um, Jimmy Carter is alive. Eh. Yeah, but he, he's got that old people shaky hands, corner of the mouth, white stuff age going on. I don't know if I'm into that. No. You know what I mean? Like, ah, a little too old for me. I'll hang out with Barack and just be like, what the fuck is happening? I'll hang out with and Michelle. And him be like, I know, I know. Honestly, I'd like to, I'd like to get drunk or high or both with Barack and just have him be super honest about a bunch of stuff I'm not supposed to know. I guarantee Obama definitely when he gets like on his own is like holy fuck. Oh Have yeah. You seen these fucking idiots? Like I oh yeah. I guarantee. Uh oh, did you see that? Um, um, Orrin Hatch no longer has a job. Oh good. Yeah, he got he was one of the people that got pushed out uh, from these midterm people that came in on. Did you see um the uh bisexual? I forget her name. Um, the bisexual senator from somewhere. Uh, she got sworn in on the Book of Law and stared directly into Mike Pence's eyes the whole time. That's fucking amazing. Oof, God, I loved it. Um, first openly bisexual senator. There's like two openly atheist representatives, a bunch of women. The, uh, our representative, uh, said we're gonna impeach the motherfucker. (laughs) Did you see that? No. You didn't see that? No. Our representative, the, uh, I forget her name, again, like Raji or something like that. Someone will put it in there. Um... She said, we're going to go into D.C. and impeach the motherfucker. Was that our representative? Our representative from Michigan. And, um, uh, and she's, she's, uh, yeah, she's Muslim and half Pakistani. Um, he had to swear her to buy and I think she, or is she not Muslim? The other ones, there's definitely one that's Muslim. I know that the, the, our, our representative is half Pakistani, but I don't know if she's Muslim. Um, Rashida... Yeah, Rashida Tlaib, probably. 
Um, yeah, uh, she uh, she said, uh, yeah, we're gonna impeach the motherfucker. And then he's Trump's like, I think she disgraced the family. I think she disgraced herself. I think she disgraced the country. Donald Trump, you bragged about he sexually he, assaulting women. Donald Trump has said motherfucker on the campaign trail. Yep. Donald Trump said shit all the time, so we're going to bomb the shit well, out Republicans of are fucking hypocrites. They oh, don't yeah. Care. No one's buying it. Anyway, so that's it. We're done. Are we done? We're done. It's still rolling. We're done. It's still on? Go click it. You don't know how? Click it. I mean, I can just leave. Yeah. Yeah, you could. I won. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, he may not have boinked the, his mom, but he would have. He would take a slice of his daughter. Palestinian, not Pakistani. Oh, okay. My bad. Still possible Muslim. Uh, because the SJW Marvel Comics controversy, I think it's really stupid, and everyone who made the video of it had a really bad argument. Yeah. Uh, did you see that back in the day? No, but I've heard a lot of people complaining about the various representation and stuff in Marvel. Which a lot is... of people? Do you mean just like the quartering and nobody else? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite response to that is the there's an old, uh, you know how when Stan Lee was the editor in chief of Marvel, he used yeah. to do a, you know, a letters to the editor section in the back of the books. Uh, someone, um, I believe it was in the 70s, wrote him a letter like, you know, I like your comics, but and I I'm cool that you're like bringing like Luke Cage and Black Panther and you're doing like sure. black superheroes, but he's like, but could you stop with the social justice stuff? And it's in the 70s and Stanley wrote a thing back and he's like, "No, because we have an obligation and responsibility and we want to push these progressive issues." Yep. It's not a new thing. Stop being assholes.